Hello everybody, welcome back to Dumpster Shark Plays Spelunky 2. Today is the 3rd of December, it is 1.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna, we're gonna get going. Hopefully, hopefully I can do some good things. <laughs> hopefully I can get to the, the Cosmic Ocean again this stream. Preferably more than once. Now, I'm, I am going through all the characters. Once I... Once I've given all of them a fair shake, I plan on maybe using some custom characters, or at least checking those out, we'll see. I don't know, like, I kind of want to play as the caveman, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure there is a... the option to do that. I think someone has, uh, made the caveman a playable character, I believe, I don't know. I thought I saw something on the subreddit about that. Now... I don't know if I want to go over there to the right. It may or may not be worth a rope. But, because I, I don't know, I think we just... For now, we ignore it. Because if, if there's nothing over there, like, ropes are pretty, pretty precious. Um, alright. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, th this floor is not very good. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone over there, because the, the curse pot could have been over there, but... It's alright. Uh, now that's a pretty decent shop as well. It's got paste, that's the main reason. We can't for afford anything though. So we'll have to come back. So hopefully this floor isn't as bad as the last one. Come on. Get out of here, mole. All right, that mole hit me twice. Um, fold me once, shame on. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. What, whatever. You fold me twice. That's what you get. Now the good thing here is that we're working our way down the level, so we have the key early. Although I guess it could be. No, I don't think it is. I said the Ujet. I could be up to the the top right behind the shop, but I don't. I don't. I really don't think it is. Alright, that body helped us out there. Yes, yeah, so I mean, it's it's okay, actually. It's not great, because we still have to come back up if we want to get all that stuff in the shop. Which I definitely do. Um, 5,000 alone for the paste. And then, you know, 5,000 for the bombs and the ropes combined. And then beyond that, you know, 5,000 for the, the compass. Which, I, I if I could buy it all, I would love to. Um, I shouldn't spend my time trying to kill this guy. Because we'll probably run out of time if I had to guess. Just based on the way this level is set up, and the fact that the uh, Ujedi is actually at the bottom, and there's also... there's an altar. So I, I need Percy. Let's, let's kill this thing at least, so it's not a problem coming back here. And that's the exit, so we don't want to drop Percy down there, because he will just go to the exit. Give me something good. Spike shoes are very good, actually. And also, they're not in the shop, so... That means we'll, you know, if, if I can actually afford the compass, I'll get it, but... I don't think I'll be able to without the curse pot. Which, you know, is there in the crust. I think we just ignore the compass. I do want the curse pot, but if I bomb it right now, we'll have to rush just to get out of here, which I kind of have to do anyway. I don't know. This is not ideal. But at least we'll be able to get, I'll be able to get my ropes back. So we'll, we will be back to four ropes. I mean, it would be- it would have been great to get that. If the curse pot was in like, almost any other position, I would- I would get it. Also, I guess I should take a body down with me. To maybe sacrifice it. Probably won't. No, I will. Alright. Um uh, So this isn't this isn't great. Our money is really bad. But we're just gonna go Volcana. That way we that way we don't have to worry about you know having very little money. It won't matter as much. But also I have paste early on and I have the spike shoes. 
So, and we're also like one altar away from a Kapala. So honestly, it's a, it's a very good uh, position to be in when we're trying to get to... Or trying to decide whether or not to go to... Volcana or the jungle. I would love to get the idol as well. Like, I know we don't need the money necessarily, but we need at least enough to... To do the moon challenge. Which we're almost there, even without the idol, so I think we'll be okay. But I was gonna say, we probably can get up there from this side. Alright. Now this idol is probably gonna anger Yang, too. So that's... Like, get out of here, moles! I'm like, I'm so stressed right now. And it's all because of the moles. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The the idol may or may not be the, the best decision. Because, yeah, I'm fairly certain that's just going to break through and, and anger yank. So... Let's see. Oh, I was watching Dr. Dunnerhead stream last night, and Shula Dame came on and said, do the arrow trick. Arrow strat for killing yank. Basically, I guess if you hold an arrow, like, right there and then throw it, you can hurry and grab the crossbow and then kill Yang with it, but... So if I can find an arrow, I'll do that. I don't know if it would work with a rock. Because a rock only does, like, one hit of damage. I can get back up here. Although there's not going to be an arrow down here. This is awful. Like, all these moles... Just, just honestly get out of here. Like, I'm so tired of the moles. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. They're... I'm lucky that that one bounced me up. I, I hate it. I hate mole hell. I don't. I can't just sit here and wait for you idiots either. That's the the problem. Like, thank you. Yeah, we can't do the arrow trick. I think we just get the the, uh, the idol and after we give the turkeys to Yang. I should just cook the turkeys to be honest. Like we're we're pretty pretty low on health. And there's another mole right here. Congratulations, mole, on completely ruining my day. Not really. Oh, great. A parachute and almost got hit by that snake. Alright, so I'm gonna get the idol. Like, I don't care. Yang, sorry, buddy. Like, if you're angered, but you're not. Ended up not being a problem. But I was gonna say, if you get angered over this, then that's your, your fault. Alright, we're out. I need the rock. I mean, it may not need it, but I feel like I, I will, so. We do, I actually don't need it. We have the spike shoes. Also, I'm stuttering a lot more today than I normally do. I'm sorry, I don't know what that's about. Uh, I'm a little stressed, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I took a day off yesterday because I was just very tired and just not feeling up to it to stream. Also, I don't know what that was. Well, I don't know what that was, that damage. Uh, frick, dude. I really should have cooked the turkeys. I mean, if I had known I was gonna get a parachute out of that, you know, I definitely would have cooked the turkeys. I don't wanna go over there. Um, but alas, I did not. So yeah, we're going Volcana, which is maybe not the... the best decision to, like, it's not the best move, maybe, but like, I don't know. I, I still think it's pretty good. We have 30,000 gold already, which... Considering, you know, I was pretty much, I had, like, no money left at all when I, uh, went to 1-3. I had, like, 300 gold or something like that. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. I heard Percy. Are you down here? Yes. I don't really want to use any resources to get Percy, but... I would love to have the extra HP moving forward. That's very good too. All right. Now, <clears throat> if I could get the Kapala before we get the, or you know, by the time I get Vlad's cape, that would be the dream. Because I really I have to learn how to farm blood in Vlad's castle. Like I know it's not that hard. It's just a matter of knowing what you do to, like, 
Like, no matter, like, even if I do it wrong, I can get a lot of blood. It's just, if I do it the right way, I can get infinite blood, basically. That is worth a rope as well, or worth a bomb. And that means we can get over and get, potentially get Percy. I don't know if we'll be able to actually get up there without using a rope. Doesn't look like we will be able to. Unless I were to bring this, this lizard up. That, that, you know, that's not worth it. Now I kind of need to do it, but it, it's definitely not worth it. Well, that's rough. <laughs> I mean, uh, I didn't want to jump on its head because I have spike shoes. So I was like, let's let's whip it. But it was in such a small, a tight space that I was trying to be careful about the way I did it. Uh, I wasn't being careful enough. Okay, we have, a, we have an altar. That's beautiful. I have seven ropes, so I should be okay to like get back up here with the skeleton, well, with the key. Once we find it, but it is unfortunate that we have to do it this way. Now, Yang's got a lot of turkeys. Um, I actually hate this. Because that spike ball up there... If we if we whip this guy off of the uh, the altar, that spike ball is gonna trigger and blow the, the robot up. We also don't want to whip this one or knock it down into the lava. This whole situation is, is terrible. Percy's in there trapped. I really don't know what to do here. I think we just we just go for it. Whip this guy down if we can. That way he's he's not gonna blow up, but he's just gonna be out of our hair. I don't know if these guys trigger actually do trigger the uh, spike balls, but I feel like they do. Give me that. But maybe we can just get Percy on the altar without. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, I need that. I hate the robots. <laughs> When they, I hate when enemies spawn on the altar. Like, it's so annoying, because it's always enemies that are, like, hard to deal with anyway. That's my own fault, but, like, I needed to get the Kapala, and it was there. I should have just jumped on the robot and dealt with it, but, like, like once I got the Kapala, I should have done that. Because then, if it blows up the altar, at least I have the Kapala. But honestly, like, my least favorite thing about enemies spawning on the altar is because, like I said, it's, it's always enemies that are difficult to deal with because they're gonna blow up the altar or destroy it somehow or they're just really hard to kill like you have Pang Ji spawning up there that like take a million hits and it, if you bomb them you're gonna blow up the altar but the, and they, they even take how many bombs do they take they take two bombs it's like it's ridiculous and then robots of course they blow up but then having the the spike ball right there as well is like well we're screwed um, but also enemies that spawn up there a lot, like pretty frequently if you go tide pool path, are the gosh darn, I can't even think of their names, the, the hermit crabs with, but not just normal hermit crabs, it's the ones with the freaking TNT. So good luck dealing with that because if you even touch the TNT, it's going to blow up and destroy the altar. So there you go. This game, there's, there are no troll moments, of course, it's just... Anyway, I'm salty. That one, that one's a salty moment because it it is very annoying. Now running into the mole like like that is, is very bad too. But <sighs> I'm burned up, man. First run and I'm already feeling like just completely devastated. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I shouldn't be so upset, but I am. And that's that's helpful. Getting a bomb box very early on is very helpful. Let's, let's try to make the most of it. Now, I did see a, a ruby up there and some other gold, but I don't think I'm gonna use a rope because we only have one left, or th three left. But we used a... We used one already is what I meant to say. But I will use a bomb. Like, we just got a bunch of them. And while that may not technically be like a, a great trade, I think it's a decent one. All right. All right, 
have more bombs in there that I will be able to afford this time without having to, you know, do any extra legwork, which is very nice. This may be a jungle run, uh, just based on the fact that I have quite a bit of money, and, you know, we're not... Well, I don't know, I'll still go Volcana. Because I want to have good Volcana run, then a good jungle run. You know, s switch back and forth, but I don't want to keep doing... I hate this. The same thing over and over again. But I also don't want to, like... Give up on... One area. I, it, the moles... My heart, like, is racing because I'm actually so angry right now at the moles. Okay, we gotta go back to the key. And it's not up here, is it? The, it is. The blue Jedi is up there. Of course it is. Like, why wouldn't it be? It's gonna be behind the shop. Uh, I could have just bombed to it from the top, but then I would have had to come down to get the key anyway. I think, I don't know. I don't remember. The key may have been up top, and I would maybe not have had to deal with this. I'm just gonna use a rope. I'm so sick of cooking bombs and failing. Uh, <laughs> I think I have to use two ropes, though. So No, I don't. Okay, we're good. Man, the salt is rising. Okay, and I couldn't just use one bomb, because I, yeah, I can't. I'm going to anger the shopkeeper, probably. What do I care? Alright, we did not anger the shopkeeper. Man, it is... It's not going well, is it? That's alright. We still have two ropes left. 17 bombs. I, I don't know, man. I really just want to do well, like... But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, is it worth, like, the, the hassle here to, like... I mean, like, should I be playing this right now when I feel this way? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. I am feeling pretty, like, not great. And I don't know, it's not, it's not even... I don't know if it's physically that I'm not feeling great or just mentally, I don't know. I'm just tired, is what it is. But I took yesterday off, so I'm like, I gotta do, I gotta stream today. I gotta be consistent. And then, like... Okay, spider, go away. See, look, look at all these gems. Alright. So, is there a rock down here? There's not, but there's an arrow, so I'll take the arrow with me. Maybe we could employ, uh, the arrow strat. And again, like, I don't know where Shula found that out, but, and I still haven't tried it or actually seen it, but she described it very well, so I assume, I assume I know exactly how it works. All right, this, that's a, a pet shop. Got a lot of arrows in there that we'll definitely purchase. Um, it's interesting here because I think I have a package that just arrived. No, I don't. I'm waiting for a package. It should get here today. But anyway, uh, I think we might want to go get down there and get the idol, actually. We have bombs, like, why not? And then let's... We don't need the turkey. We don't need the turkey, because we can just get out of here, but... Also, that's, that's a very good shop, too. Uh, I will make an effort to find my way into that, that shop. I don't know what that's gonna do. Okay, it stopped. Um, no! <laughs> Stuck on the edge there. Yeah, so we we know that it's, like from here, if you look down, it's down at the bottom. Oh no! So here, if you look down, I can see, I can see the side of it. It's, it's in there. I really want the paste. So we're gonna make every, effort to get that. Now, I may need... Oh, man, I don't know. Like, we're, we're spending a lot of time here. I don't know that I need the, the curse spot. I should probably just leave it. I really should just leave it. And I, I'm aware of that, but also, like, I can't... We're gonna sell the, the idol like, really soon. I hate this spider. I hate this torn lizard. I hate everything. Yeah, we're gonna sell the idol, like, right here, so... The spider's gonna find me, too, which is hilarious. Give me the ropes. Oh, it's in there! 
Fantastic. So that's where the curse pot is too, by the way, in case you were curious. So if I whip it, uh, it's game over. <laughs> so I think I just leave that alone and say goodbye curse pot, goodbye health, goodbye turkey, goodbye everything basically. Because we're running out of time and that's, that's ridiculous. I should have dealt with the, the spider when I had the chance. I'm just like, I'm trying to juggle all these things and it's really not working out very well for me. Like, screw you, spider. Okay, you woke up faster than I expected. Okay, we gotta use a rope here, too. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have to, I swear. We're gonna use a rope, because we have no time. <sighs> Alright, goodbye. I don't even know what's down there. I Yang! Yang is down there. We're going. We're going. Is this is not smart. Get me out of here. Where's the exit? It's over here. We're, we're going. Sp is this the spider, by the way? Is that the same spider? Because, hello. Alright. That was that didn't work out very well. Uh, lost a lot of HP there. Uh, missed out on the, the curse pot. But if we're going Volcana, we don't need that much gold, so... And Yang's hideaway was garbage, by the way. <laughs> it usually is. But I would really hope that they would make it not so garbage in the future. And I mean, like, they keep, you know, patching things and saying, okay, this this is improved now. And it is. Like, the chances of Yang, now that he can spawn, like, three crates, potentially, is very good. But he doesn't. He doesn't spawn three crates, usually. So, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a chance. It's not good enough, in my opinion. Uh, I don't have spike juice, so maybe I should be... Maybe I shouldn't be, uh... Getting rid of all the skulls that I may need to use to kill this guy. I could just stick him with a, a, a bomb. Like, that's probably what I'll do. Because we have, we have enough bombs, and I just don't want to spend a lot of time doing this. So I think that's what we do. Although there is a rock down here. So I guess I could save a bomb. It'll take some time, but... I know I just barely said let's save some time. I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind what I want to do. Yes, two hits. Two hits. Oh! That was one hit. Come on. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hit you twice this time. Well, we didn't need two hits. That was actually much better than I thought. I kind of remember that arrow that goes through the fire does quite a bit of damage. Now this... this is funny. Because I know we can make that jump, I just... I always struggle to make it. Alright, I hear Percy down there. Hopefully to the bottom right, because I... Yeah, because I don't have... Uh, the... I don't have the patience to deal with him being on the left side. And again, maybe this is a better, this run is better suited for the jungle just because I have so much money. But with paste, I feel like, and this many bombs, I feel like we're, we're in a pretty decent place. So even if we don't get, you know, any items or shops or anything like that in the, in Volcana, I feel like we're gonna be okay. So, because of that, I think, we should just go Volcana. <laughs> I hate Hired Hand. I was like, he's gonna hit me with that skull. Is what's gonna happen. But... I kinda wanna carry him and set him to sleep somewhere so he doesn't... But somewhere where I can actually get back to... Oh wait, there you go. We don't even... It's, it's a beautiful day for an altar. And there's no robot on top, thank goodness. Now this robot, I did not want to send down there. So that's that's pretty bad. Like that right there is, is actually pretty bad. Uh, this one, we don't really need to get rid of this guy. In fact, I probably don't want to get rid of- No, you know, I do. I do, I do. The reason I want to get rid of that, that guy is so I can get up here even more easily. But this is really bad. Yeah, see like, 
if I had a rock or something there, like that's one of the few times where I'm in the volcano and I'm like, I wish I had something to throw. Because if I don't, like, I have to get, I have to go over there and whip the freaking firebug, but there's also a bat over there. And with all this lava down here, it's just, it's terrible. That's the first time I did not take damage from a mole when I tried to kill it early on. And the funny thing is, like, why am I dealing with moles at all if I'm gonna take damage from them? The whole reason I'm killing them is so that I won't have to... So they won't take damage from them later on. But if I'm taking dam damage from them now... Oh, man, my heart is like... It can't handle this anymore. <laughs> I may do a short stream today. I'm like, actually... My anxiety feels like it's super high, which is ridiculous. I have no idea why that would be. Like, it's actually making me, like, hate this game. And I, I don't understand that, because I love Spelunky. I always have. Like, but it's, it's making me, like, be like, what the heck is wrong with this game? Okay, I almost threw the rock there. And there's nothing wrong with the game. It's, it's entirely, it's what's wrong with me. But... Like, even things like this, the totem trap there, I'm just... Also, were there, was there a bone structure here that I could have used? Maybe we can use the caveman to get up here. It's gonna be a little close. Beautiful. I don't remember if there were bone blocks there or not that I broke. I, I don't know. Well, should have known. <laughs> this is good though, two turkeys are uh, very easily accessible top of the level so we can just carry one of them and ride the other one down. And I gotta remember the one that I'm riding has taken some damage already so we gotta be careful about that. Okay, Yang is there. Which hopefully I'll be able to get to. No, we cannot get in there without bombing our way in. Unless we can get up with a rope at the bottom somehow. But also... I hate this. I, I'm so upset. Like, we could just do that, obviously, but I'm upset at the fact that we even had to deal with that. Like, the spider placement. That's, that's Spelunky, though. That's, like, that's the whole, the whole thing. The idea is that it's difficult and there are enemies in places that are inconvenient. But at the same time, I just don't, like, I don't want to deal with it. Okay, let's set one turkey down. Let's get, uh, Percy. Now, I'm gonna just buy from the shop, I'm not gonna rob him, but hopefully I can make up some money to come get the other, the other bomb box, because that's that's really what I want. Now we gotta be careful about the arrow traps, and yes, we can get up there without. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Without using any resources, well, without using a bomb. I was saying we might have to use a rope to get up there, but I don't even think we have to use a rope. We have the turkeys, although we're gonna have to use a rope there to get both the turkeys. So let's just let's start with one. We could have gotten one up here and then you know gone from there. But ooh. also, is there no arrow on this floor too? I really want to try that. I might as well bring the turkeys to him now. I want to try it more for the science than for the fact that I you know I don't want to give this guy the turkeys. Although again, it's a it's a dud. Let's not go down there, because it's, it's too uncertain. You don't know. All right, well, at least we can get the curse pot here. And we have enough money to go back for the uh, other bomb box. There is an arrow. we got to figure out a way to get the arrow, though, without... Oh, there we go. Uh, we might as well get the bomb box now. No, let's hurry because we're, we're out of time. Crap. This is probably not smart. Especially since this run is going fairly well. Like, why even risk it? But I just want to know. No! He has so much HP! Oh, and I'm dead. Like, thank you! I don't even know. I, like, I'm so sick of nonsense like that. This is why I'm like, I'm gonna quit this game forever. <sighs> I have to at least get to 7, 7.99 before I quit forever, because like, 
it's gonna eat me up inside. But no, that's... Like, I knew the risk there. If the ghost wasn't there, I would've survived at least. But the fact that I got stunned by, like, the arrow, because it bounced back, I'm like, this is, this is what makes this game so great, but it also is what makes it an absolute nightmare to play. It's like, no matter what you do, everything affects everything, and it's driving me insane. Like, I'm slowly, not even slowly, like, rapidly losing my sanity. Alright, let's, let's, let's dial it, dial it. Let's, let's do not, not panic. Practice breathing techniques, I don't know, man. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll come over here and get hit by a skeleton, that's fine. Or a spider. There was some gold over there, you know what? I'm not gonna go over there. <laughs> I thought about it, but I, I changed my mind. Give me the rock, please. But I see the the use usefulness of killing Yang with the, the in that method. It seems like it'd be relatively safe. Uh, the only problem I had there is that my arrow fell in where the turkeys was, where the turkeys were, not where they was. Um, excuse me. Anyway, then my arrow fell down there. Then I had to rush down to get it. But then I was so I knew the ghost was coming, so I was like in such a rush to actually kill Yang. Now, if there's a body, I would love to throw it at the arrow. This one's not gonna do it, though. We gotta actually have a solid body at the arrow trap. Or I can just try to whip it. I'm pretty bad at the whip, though. But you know what? Let's do it. Uh, we can't afford the bomb boxes. I may rob this guy. Because we gotta get 20,000 to buy both of those. But I'm gonna start with paste. And then... You know what? I'm just gonna rob him. Because I was thinking like we'd want to explore first, but there's we're gonna be end up using all of our ropes just to get back up here, and then we won't have any left to uh, actually do this. So we just gotta hope he doesn't follow us all the way down. At the very least, he's not gonna kill himself on anything here. I don't see any spikes or anything, so. Oh, of course we've got the the Ujedi here. There's the key. Of course, it's at the very bottom of the level, and then we have to use a. Uh... <laughs> Don't like. Do not ruin my. How did that not set off the Piero trap? I, I honestly. Are you, are you serious? Like, I can just walk in front of it and I'm fine? All right. You know what? We're gonna have to use our last two ropes. I'm just gonna... I got up there without using one, but that's because I had the shotgun, but I jumped down and now I don't have the shotgun. It's just gonna make it easier anyway. Let's set that off. All right, now I think my package has been delivered. Saw a notification there. Yeah, just use a rope. Just use a rope. Then we have to use another bomb. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the or break the curse pot and then just leave. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to hang out on this floor. I'm so stressed. And the music is not helping. Like the, the shopkeeper, you know, music is, it's not helping. All right. Well, let's check it out in here. There could be like a secret shop down here. But I gotta remember, I don't have any ropes to get back up. So we gotta make sure we can get back up. There is, and there are ropes. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go back out this way. I don't think there's gonna be anything else. This is probably a turkey floor, uh, so it may connect to to Gang's uh, shop or you know hideout, whatever you want to call it. 
That being said, I am... Let's just get that gold and then call it a day. I can just kill Yang is what I was going to say with the shotgun. Uh, I do kind of want the curse pot as well. No, let's not. Let's not. We're not going... We're going Volcana. So... I also have to pee like almost immediately after just peeing. <sighs> Which is frustrating, I guess, because it feels like I'm just getting old. And I used to think it was kind of funny. Uh, not anymore, really. Also, I guess we want to go down this way so we can push that block. Otherwise, it's going to be blocking my path and then we'll not be able to get, get in there without using a bomb. And who knows, maybe we'll get an altar on this floor. Okay, this bat, I really want it to set off the arrow trap if we can get it to do that. Yes. Very good. I did not mean to kill that turkey, but you know what? I don't need to give him to Yang anyway, so... Let's see, where is a good place to, to bomb these turkeys? I think we just, just do it right here where there's a ruby in the crust. Uh, it's probably a better place to do it, where there are like multiple rubies or at least gems, but I think this is fine. Now I have to use a, a rope to get back up to my shotgun, although maybe I don't, not if I push this block. Either way, that was an amateur mistake by leaving the shotgun up there, because it's just... Beautiful. So it might have been the key that actually hit me before and not the arrow. When, Yang, when we killed the Yang. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Also, I should have waited on killing the turkeys, because then we could have bombed this one for health, too. Uh, I could still bomb it for health. I just... I don't think we need to, so I'm not going to. Uh, as for Percy, though... I think I'm just going to leave him. Crap. And, of course, the ghost is actually here. I gotta pee. I'm going to, like, I'm going to save this for after I pee. This is ridiculous. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, let's see, that's fine. Oh. So we got the ghost, we got the shopkeeper. The chances of me surviving this encounter are very, very slim. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, all right, that, that's good. We're forgiven, 
So, I mean, like, looking at what we have now, we have 25 bombs with paste. And we have three ropes. Three ropes, that's uh, not very good. You definitely use more. But the 25 bombs with paste, that's huge. Uh, there's a crate here as well. The crate could be very good. It could be a parachute too, but hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just something great. More bombs? You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, give me a skeleton key so I don't have to worry about the key. Did not give me a skeleton key. Alright, I do want to at least throw a skull at this guy. I'm gonna make this run work. Like, I have a lot more HP this time around. I don't think I've seen any altars on this, this run. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. But, this is what, my third time getting back to Volcana? That's not great, you know, considering we've been going for like 45 minutes almost, which is crazy to me. It feels like I've just started like 10 minutes ago. Uh, but, you know, it's better than, than not getting there <laughs> in that, that amount of time. Ideally, I'd like to be like in the, in Neo Babylon right now or something like that, but can't get, can't always get what you want. <clears throat> I do have a lot of bombs. So I'm kind of tempted to bomb my way over here and get Percy. I think he's over here, yeah. Okay. I know we, I, I just said we have a ton of HP, but the more the, the merrier, honestly. Give me, give me as much as possible. You gotta drop that skull, you cannot take it. Alright. Well, you're an idiot. And there is an altar. Thank you. Please. I was gonna say, please let there be no robot there. Uh, it is my fault for shooting that guy. I should have known better. I should have known, like, he's probably gonna try to deal with that bat. But my initial reaction was just, like, shoot the bat. Also, can I drop this shotgun down there and have it be okay? Like, I don't really want to. But I don't really know what else to do. We don't need the shotgun. We'll have to give it up anyway, but, like, I guess we can just do that. Yeah, it set off the, the robot. That's what I was afraid of, honestly. Uh, like, Volcana is just... It's such an interesting place. It's so very interesting. There's nothing bad about it at all. I'm so salty. Because I think we have to like bomb our way down this way now because of the, uh, the lava there. And not only did it free the lava, it's actually dripping down probably where the exit is. This robot is in a not great place either. Because I actually need to get up here. That actually might destroy everything. It did not. Okay, good. Ugh. <sighs> Crap. All right, we're good. Spring shoes are very good. All right, this is this is good stuff. Now I don't know if I should go down there for my shotgun. I think I'm just gonna ignore that and come this way. We need to find the key still. Crap, dude. Yeah, it's all all the lava's there. The exit's over here, though. Thank goodness. Uh, all right. All is forgiven. Now, I wish there was a higher hand on this level that wasn't the one that I just killed. Okay, just keep coming, Magmar. You can, you can do what you want. Yeah, but there does not appear to be a higher hand. So we're not gonna get the Kapala here. I would've been much closer if that higher hand, you know, had lived through my shotgun blast, but... It's all right, it's all right. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. Obviously we're leaving the shotgun behind. We have to give it up for the bow anyway. There you go, on this floor. I was gonna say soon, but.
And we gotta be very careful. Because I have no idea where the bow actually is. And without the spectacles, it's gonna be a pain to find it. It's gotta be, like, down somewhere. I'm hoping it's just down here to the left. That's looking like it's, yeah, like it's the case, but you never know. Also, I think there's a crate in there. We don't have spike shoes, so we gotta be careful. But since I have the spring boots, I can get out of here pretty easily. Oh, I hate that. Alright. There's another crate over there. That's probably a scorpion town, too. Yeah, let's, let's not go that way. Let's approach from the top. I know it'll be more Matic uses, but... Okay. Let's wait up here. Well, <laughs> we got that shotgun back. Alright, that's fine. And I know I've talked a little bit about like going to the, going and getting the alien compass in the temple a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to, for a while at least. I just feel like the, the Ankh is so much more valuable than the alien compass. Kiwi Harrison, how's it going? How are you doing? Hello. All right, yeah, like the, the Ankh, being able to have that in the, the cosmic ocean is just so good. That's an altar. That's beautiful. That's an altar. I hear Percy. I see the hired hand down there. Uh, I think... I don't know where Percy is. Probably there to the left somewhere, but... I think we're just gonna... Just gonna go for it. I'll have to use ropes to get up there now, because I destroyed the, the chains. But that's, that's alright. I'm, I'm okay to do this. I'm doing okay. I'm feeling a little off today, but... I don't know. I was feeling off yesterday. That's why I didn't stream. But other than that, I'm feeling okay. Now we gotta find Percy. I really hate not having the spectacles. Uh, I kinda wanna keep the turkey just cause it makes it easier to get around the level. So let's, let's do that for now, but I will be sacrificing it for sure. Or it's gonna get cooked here. All right, that's like four favor, oops. I honestly think we just bomb our way down. Like, as crazy as that might seem. That's another rope, unless we, like, use the turkey to get up there. Come on. I, like, just genuinely... Like, I don't understand why my jump is not working out. Okay, we gotta drop you, pick you up. There we go. This should be an item. No, that's the Kapala, actually. Okay, I don't need Percy at this point. Let's just get out of here. I forgot that we had that much favor. And I think this is a larger than normal floor, too. Yeah, at least that's the way it seems. No, it's, it's not. Although, I don't know if the exit's over here. I hope it is. Yes. Oh, that's stressful. Normally, I'm not bothered by a dark level on Volcana because the lava lights it up so well, but that one was really hard to see, like, for the majority of the level. Okay, and I'm just gonna use the drill really fast. It opened up a secret, which could be good for us. But also, let's look out for shops or other things. This isn't great. All the lava here is, is pretty bad, actually. But... Yeah, that's actually really bad. Uh, it's dripping a lot still, so I think, I think we waited out. But I was gonna say, like... 
We can get into that secret door, and that probably will just lead us into Vlad's castle anyway. So as long as we don't get hit to get, 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 getting to that door specifically, we'll be okay. And again, the stutter is really bad today. I don't know what's going on there. There's also another secret door, like, right by it, it looks like. Is that... Am I losing my mind? Let's get in here. Yeah, there is. Okay. What do we have down there? That's a bomb box. That's very good. Can we actually get to it? I would assume so. I've got to get the clover still. Okay, we can get to it. Let's, let's get the clover really fast. Let's get the bomb box. Let's do all the things. I was gonna say we'll farm some blood. I don't know if we'll farm blood. We have 8, eight HP, so. Thank you, Ton. You're a, a godsend, honestly. Okay, none of those have been set off. There is a crate up top, though. Okay, that's that's better. Hopefully the crate is, like, spike shoes would be good, or bombs, it's, I mean, it's nice. Bombs are very, very good, very useful. I also need more ropes, though. Just realizing that. Um, I don't really know how you farm blood, <laughs> honestly. Like, I know it's like two vampires, BRB, okay. See you in a minute. Two vampires in a casket, and maybe a hired hand's body. But that vampire's dead. You know, there's only like one left on the level, so I think we just go. Um, we could try to free all of them, and if there's an altar, we could get, you know, maybe some royal jelly on the next level. That's honestly what I want to do. You know, I actually want you to go to sleep. Just for a second. No, 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 no. I don't know what his problem is there. Like, he's like... Uh, obsessed with the arrow trap. You know what? You're awake again, so let's let's get out of here. That's upsetting. The hired hand, he locks onto something. And he just... He cannot... He's fixated, right? He just... He cannot look anywhere else. Okay. Oh, I hate that. Rock dog down there. I'm gonna get over here. They all might die to the rock dog. But if they... Are they gonna attack the rock dog? Would they attack it? It's not really a normal enemy. It's a it's a mount, right? Like... Alright. Gotta remember, I have triple jump now. Uh, there is no altar, right? Like, I would, I, was, I would have seen it. Yeah. I think they're all dead. I think that's, that's for the best. Two of them are dead there. One of them fell into the lava, at least. Maybe the other one did too. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave the rock dog behind. No, I won't. We'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, there is a crate up there, at least. Well, there's at least one. This is kind of where the rock dog is probably going to be better off um, just hanging out up here. And then let's let's get it started. Let's start by getting to to Waddler. Just the one crate. Yeah. So I'll definitely come back for that. I just gotta get the bow to water safely. Really fast. 
I love, I love Vladscape spring shoes combo. It's so good. When I don't, when I get Vladscape and I don't have the spring shoes, I always feel like disappointed a little bit. Cause it's just not nearly as exciting. Like right now I'm like, I'm jumping so high. Okay, we can get that, we can get that. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of a tight space, but, well there you go, more spring shoes, we didn't really need those. Um, alright, at this point we're just gonna get him to do his thing. Okay, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know why I spend so much time trying to get it to do this when it, it I should just play it safe, honestly. We're gonna try to do this the way that I've been doing it, but it's not always the safest either. Okay, that worked. It was close. It's mostly safe. I don't know, I'm like, I, I feel a little like lightheaded right now. So I really may end this stream early. I do not feel well. Like I'm gonna pass out or something. Uh, this is like not the right time to have this happen either. I'm not gonna pass out. I'm like, just feeling a little wonky. All right, let's get him to go over here, I guess. Okay. Actually, I don't know that I wanted to be against the wall like that. It's nice because it does create a situation where the UFO on the left side always gets blown up right away. But it's hard for me to like... Oh, okay, I almost got crushed there. Okay, almost got crushed there too. Okay, get him to go back there. Yeah, it's, it's hard because I, I really don't want to be here when this happens, when all this nonsense happens. Okay. Now this, I'm going to use a bomb. I'm going to get him out of here and use a bomb, although I don't think I can get him out of there. I think he's trapped. Let's use a bomb there. That's too, like, it's too tight down there for me. Phrasing. Um, it's just, like, I don't have anywhere to stand. Cause like the, the block that he's on is so, or like the, like this right here, it's so small. I couldn't stand there. Like I'd have to stand next to it and there's no place to stand. So I think that's the, that's the, the move. I don't like using bombs on this fight at all if I can avoid it, but that one, that felt like I, I had to do that or, or perish to be honest, so. And it was not worth perishing over considering I have, you know, I had 40 bombs roughly 41 before I use that one to get Olmec out of there, but oh, it's so good. Because you can jump and you can hit your head on the ceiling. Like, that's how good it is. It's just, it's insane. But yeah, I really think I really think the Yonk is something that I want to have moving into the Cosmic Ocean. Because the thing is, the last run I had was pretty decent. Like, I got to 7-29. and Or the last Cosmic Ocean run I had. And I wouldn't have gotten that far if I didn't have the Yonk. Like, I, I got there... I, I think I got poisoned... On the Hundun fight. Or something. I got poisoned sometime around there. And so you cannot cure poison from that point on. I had like a ton of health. I had like 40 plus HP. But you know, I was like, I was also like, well, we're gonna die. Like, you know, I think I might actually had 50 plus HP. Thinking about it, but anyway, I, I knew that I was gonna die eventually, and I was just like, well, we're gonna see how far I can get at this point. Like, that's all I can do is just go for as long as possible, and then you know. But what ended up happening was I did die, but it wasn't from poison. It was from dying, I jumped on a, into a man trap, which really hurt because I was like, man, I had still like 30 HP left. You know, like I, I could have gone a lot further, but I, I completely forgot that I had the Ankh. So when I respawned with the Ankh, I was like, what? And then I was able to go like for like 10 more levels or so. 
So I really feel like having the Yonk, you know? I mean, I, I should just be careful in general. Also, we have a large level here, which is not good. Uh, there could be a Leprechaun here somewhere, but we gotta, we gotta hustle. At least we can gamble quickly now. Like, that altar is, is tempting, but not that tempting. Yeah, we can gamble quickly until they patch this out, which who knows, may never happen, but I'm pretty sure it will. I would be very surprised if it didn't happen. Like, I mean, it takes a little bit of skill, I guess. Not not a lot, but a little bit. So far, we're just getting uh, active items. We missed that whip, so let's just throw this one here. Crafting. Alright. And I, haven't, I have been informed that I say dude and, like, man too much, and I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to. Let's take this off over here. That's what I'm looking for. More bombs. Uh, I was actually like hoping for like spike shoes or something, but that's also very good. Okay. Now we, we have like two minutes to get out of here. So I may actually get into the... I hear the leprechaun, okay. He's dead. <laughs> All right, let's let's go down and get the clover, and then I'll come back up with Percy at some point, hopefully to get the the royal jelly from the altar. Uh, crap! I actually want to be riding this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, I have no idea where Percy is though. That helps a lot though, getting the clover. I'm pretty sure the Clover does give you a better chance of winning at Madame Tusk's pa uh, dice house as well. So, if I had gotten that first, I may have just gambled normally, not done the, the exploit. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna go back up with Percy. Um, well, we will have cleared out all the enemies, or at least most of them. So maybe I will? I, I don't know. It doesn't matter if I find him or not. Let's just cook the turkey. We could sacrifice it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get back up there. Well, that's not true. We can definitely get back up there. I just don't think there's any reason to, because yeah, I don't see Percy. So I guess we just take the rock dog and go. Um, I don't need the rock dog at this point. It probably doesn't help me out that much. But if we if we come across turkeys, then, you know that's free. Free dinner. Oh my gosh. I was safe after that first jump. I don't know what I was doing there. I was trying to hit the freaking Jiangxi assassin. So I mean at this point we have we have to like do the onk skip. Like it's ridiculous. This Pang Chi ended up being the enemy that like screwed me over. And it's, it hurts really bad there, because look at all those bombs. Um I don't know what we do at this point. Just try to survive and try to... I hate that. I hate that so much. Because it's my fault, like, 100%. But that entire situation was just nasty. Like, it wasn't a good situation to be in. Also, the skeleton is going to be a freaking nuisance. Alright, it's gone. Ugh, so stupid. Like, honestly, just the dumbest freaking thing I've ever done in my life. Cause it's funny, you know, after like the... After the rock dog died, I should've just been like, we're safe. Also another leprechaun, are you kidding me? I hear it. I should, yeah, I should've just like, walked. For some reason I jumped again cause I panicked. I mean, that's what it is, I panicked. So that's the reason. Uh, now, we have so many bombs here that maybe I'd be better off not taking Excalibur, I don't know. I still think the clone gun, like, cloning the horse bag is not that useful. Like, except for the fact that you get so many ropes. So maybe it is. Honestly. Because, like, the bombs, like, I have plenty of bombs now, but I don't have very many ropes. And ropes are actually very useful in uh, Cosmic Ocean and beyond. So I think maybe we do just take the clone gun with us. That's an interesting... You know, I don't want to be down here. 
I'm gonna take- I'm gonna die to these flying fish if I- if I'm not careful. Okay. Well, here's what I'll do. I really want- Actually, I don't want the- the-, the leprechaun, because it's- we already have the, the clover. I really want there to be a crate in here, though. There was not a crate in there. Um... Also, I was watching Mouth play, and he got like a dead arrestless level, and the the geist or geist as he calls them showed up. Geist makes sense, but I still like want to call them geist. I'm gonna clone the present. Like honestly, I just don't want to have to worry about the clone gun later on. Anyway, but he was on like a, a haunted level, and they showed up. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to this freaking enemy. It's so hard to bomb this thing in the water because it just your bombs just don't They don't work the way you expect them to uh, Anyway, he, he got the journal entry just for ex being cursed on that level I Swear like they must have changed the journal entry because I swear that I've been on that level When I was cursed and I didn't get the journal entry. I didn't get it until I took a picture of one of those things when I was cursed So I don't I don't know if that's how it's always been or if they just made it easier to get them get the journal entry because he was like talking about it. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get the journal entry for this. That's really good. I think that was well worth it. More bombs and more ropes, like, and the health. And that's, that guy's dead, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, like, I know they changed some journal entries because you couldn't get APEP originally either. I think you actually had to die to APEP to get the journal entry for him. But I, I don't know, because I never died to him. So I never had the journal entry, but then they changed, they patched it so you could just get it by seeing him. Well, it, I don't know. It's a snake, like. Anyway, this is another shot, by the way. Are you kidding me? Bombs. I really want ropes, to be honest. Just give me like three piles of ropes in a shop and I'll be happy right at this point. Uh, now, I don't like this, so let's just get rid of it. This is actually gonna put us past 99 bombs. That's crazy. Mm. All right, I respect it. Also, we gotta hurry. What am I doing? All right, let's. I don't have the spike shoes. Careful. I have the spring shoes at least. So that's that's a positive. But oh, this is very bad. Let's let's do something like that, just to open up more of the the level here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the problem is I use ropes here too. I use like three, so. Uh, yeah. Let, let's do this quickly. So this is a good one to do it at. Or even like, no, not that one. That one's close to the wall. We don't want to do that one. That one. That one. And then the middle one can have gold in it We're gonna have to use one more rope to get out of here But we have to do it this way like we don't have the onk right so It doesn't really matter Okay, give me give me the sword and let's get the heck out of here Nine HP. Um, I'd love to build up a huge stash of, of health. If that's what you would call it, stash. I don't know. I want to have a lot of health. Since we don't have the onk, like I feel like I, I might need. I might need the the health. Because even if I have the onk, I like to have a lot of health, and that way I I, I survive a little bit longer with the onk. But this is one of those situations where I kind of feel like. Yeah, we, we just need to make sure we get health. Let's go whip Percy twice and take him to the exit. And also, I have to be careful, more cautious about like when I'm in the when I'm in the sunken city. 
Like, poison is actually just so bad. It, it's... It's terrible. Like, this is... This is spooky, but at least if we get poison here, we can get cured. Like, right? Like... It's possible. Now, I'm not gonna even mess around with these enemies. I know we could get more blood. But... Yikes, dude. Could also just get killed uh, trying to mess with them, so... Let's come up here. We are looking for crates. That's, like, my biggest concern. Honestly, crates with ropes. Like, the bombs... Thank you for all the bombs, but at this point, like, we don't need them. Uh, we don't need this many, at least. I'd honestly, and I'd also be surprised if I even use enough bombs to, like, get me down to, like, where 24 bombs wouldn't put me back at 99 later on, so. Okay, no enemies in pots, which is interesting. I don't think there are any crates in here. We'll, we'll double check, but... Okay, I don't care about the scarab. Um, yeah, so I mean, I easily could have taken the clone gun. It might have been the smartest move, because since we have so many bombs, I could have cracked this Kingu shell with, like, you know, bombs, and then killed it with bombs. And, you know, because especially since we'd be cloning the course bag anyway, like, we'd get all of our bombs back, but we'd also get, like, a ton of ropes. And ropes are very valuable, so getting 24 ropes is going to be good, but we'd, I'd like to have more than that. So hopefully we get crates or shops with ropes. Cracked Onyx Snake. Okay, so, like, the one thing that I'm missing right now, other than the ropes... And I mean spike shoes and stuff, but we'll get spike shoes in this, on this floor. And we'll get some ropes on this floor too, so. But like, my biggest concern right now is not having the Ankh. And I know the whole purpose of like, doing a run like this is that you give up the Ankh. Like, not giving it up is just, basically, that's kind of exploit exploitative, right? It's like, or exploitative? How do people say that word? I don't know. Everyone says things differently, that's fine. But either way, it's, it's not the way the game is meant to be played, necessarily. It just is a nice bonus that you don't have to use it. Ropes. I I'm so happy about that. Honestly, I am. Now, I hate this. Okay. Top left. Top left. So, where that mine is, I'm just gonna blow it up. It might actually get us to the... Yeah, to Waddler's room. And then I'm gonna kill the Yeti King... Or the Yeti Queen with... With a bomb. I may do the same for the Yeti King, though. Okay. Gotta wait it out for just a sec. I hate this so much. Not having the spike shoes in the ice caves is, is spooky. Not having them anywhere is kind of spooky. Well, well it's Tide Pool, I guess, specifically. But, like, there are other areas where you, like, use the spike shoes to kill enemies, so... Very good. Very, very good. Pitcher's Mitt would also be very nice to have. I will say that. Oh, there's still some alive. I'm like, what is going on here? Also, Snake up there is not great. <sighs> okay, that was risky. <laughs> I'm still like I didn't bounce up and We're just gonna throw bodies until all the yetis are dead Which should just be this one This one might, might do it And I'm gonna try to get that guy Yes There's another crate down here Freeze ray is good stuff too Uh yeah we don't want that Compass is down there. We already have the compass. And I did get the ropes. So we don't need to... Yeah, we don't need to go down there for that. Alright. There is an altar. Uh, I would love jelly. 
So I'm gonna try to get it, but we gotta be careful about the UFO. Since I have the freeze ray, it helps out a lot actually, because it, it makes it so it won't blow up. But with all these like yetis and stuff around, like that's, that's really good. Also, I was watching Mouth play, and he had he was trying to do the eggplant run. And he went and set the eggplant child up top. Like near a wall, like near the like the edge of the map. And he was doing a lot of things. He didn't get the clover. He never went in the ice, the, like the, the Yeti room, which I'm like, I always go in there. But he didn't go in there because he's like, well, we don't need to get in there. But then like the, later on, he's like, I need, I need ropes. I need compass, man. I really wish I had those things. And I'm like, you could have gotten him. But moreover, he didn't get the clover. So the ghost showed up at like three minutes, right? And he was trying to get, there was an altar on the floor and he was trying to get Percy up to the altar. So he was like rushing to do all this stuff. Well, he led the ghost up to the altar. But right above the altar was where he left the eggplant child to rest. And he didn't know what happened, but he went to the next level and he, the eggplant child wasn't there. He's like, what, where, where, where are they? Like, what's going on? And, you know, someone in the comments said, well, it, it, like this time you can hear the uh, ghost kill the eggplant child. But no, that was the ghost splitting off into two. That being said, the ghost definitely did kill the eggplant child. Like, that's, that's not a question. It's just the, you know, wasn't specifically, the, the noise you heard was just the ghost splitting into two. Because it would happen right at like three minutes, 30 seconds. So, anyway, I just thought it was funny because I was like, if you had just gone to the, you know, that part of the, the map where you could get the compass, there must have been two UFOs there. I, I hate this. There, there are honestly too many UFOs. I'm really trying hard to get another royal jelly, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. We got like 15 seconds, so. This will be the last guy we sacrificed. There you go. That's beautiful. Anyway, not to rag on mouth. I just, I just thought it was funny. It's one of those decisions where I'm like, I, that's why I always go there. Like, even if it's just for the... Crap, dude, I really want that. That's a good bomb. Even if it's just for the clover, like, I think it's worth it. That was not worth it, though. Parachute. I mean, it doesn't hurt any to have it, like... Don't like that. Okay, exit is right there. I got, I got a lot of bombs. Um, I'm just gonna go. But anyway, so I just... You know, every time I see some, I'm watching someone play and they don't go to the the wet fur part of the level, I'm just like, I'm so confused. I'm like, cause it's not that hard, I feel like. Okay, we gotta, we gotta kill this thing. All these UFOs around here. And this guy like trying to destroy the altar. It's just not a good, good thing to be ha have happening. Now, this may or may not be worth it. Okay, I, I hate this even more. I'm gonna try to bomb at least one of them. That's that's very good. Now, I kinda wanna bomb this one too. Okay. Um, now, I should not have done that. No! Well, that's my bad. I shouldn't have whipped Percy. Like. Getting the like little bit of HP versus getting a royal jelly, like obviously you would go with royal jelly. I didn't anticipate that that series of events would happen, but it did. Cracked onyx snake. Cracked onyx vortex. Yeah, that squishing noise. Oh, it's right there. Cracked onyx snake. I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, I'm not going that way. Like, I, I know, like, it's just that I have so many bombs, I really feel like I should be using them. Like, so, you know, y yeah, y you know what's gonna happen there. Ooh. Okay, that's, that's beautiful.
All right, we're out. I could have went and sacrificed some All Mites. That probably would have been the, the smart play, but. Crap, dude. I actually hate this. This is too, like, there are too many spark traps here. Like, just too much can go wrong. I don't have a lot of ropes, so I, I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to, like, have to use a rope to get out of there, but... At the same time, like, we shouldn't have to as long as we're careful, right? Okay. Uh, Madam Tusks. I should maybe go there. I don't know where it is, but we were invited. It's There's some HP in there. We could take Percy in there. Like, we could do a lot of stuff. The exit is just down here. So I'm gonna get Chi Lin down there. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna use bombs. Like, I have them, like, why not? I never use them. I shouldn't say never, but like, I rarely use them. The bombs that I have, oh my gosh. No! Oh. I know that wouldn't have killed me, but it may have hurt Percy. Okay, let's let's get Chilin down here. We still got like a minute and 15 seconds. But I really want the royal jelly and all the extra HP we get from there. I don't know if this is worth it, actually. Uh, I think we gotta get rid of this one. That is a nightmare up there. That's too many All Knights. Um, I think we just go. As much as I want to get in there, I just, I don't feel comfortable. And we're running out of time, so I think it's just better to just go. All right, I feel better about that. Like, we would have died, I, I, and I might not have died. You're probably like watching this and thinking, coward. <laughs> like, in, in a way I feel like a coward, I do, but it's all right. All right, let's, let's go do some blood farming. We can always get more altars in the sunken city too, like it's very possible. Okay, thank you, Chilin, for your service. As always. I'm gonna take a rock with me just in case there's an arrow trap to deal with. I usually don't have like a throwable in a sunken city and that could actually help out a lot. But I also am more willing to use ropes this late in the game because I'm always like, well, we have plenty. But where I'm like, I know that I need to use them in the cosmic ocean, or at least I like to use them a lot in the cosmic ocean. Maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't waste any here. I don't know. It's not a waste if they help you survive, right? Like, and this is where I leave the rock behind. Okay, we got we gotta find Waddler, and hopefully we can find the Sun Challenge on this floor. Hope it's not on the next floor. Okay, there's Waddler. Okay, there is a there is a an altar here, and I heard Percy up there. I saw him up there even. Okay, I'm not seeing the sun challenge yet. So we'll just bring this out and drop it off there. And then I'll bring the bow with me. Okay. 
I hate that. Just trying to get on top. All right. Hmm. So this is one of those situations where I'm thinking we're probably best off just bombing like right there. No, that didn't actually do anything for me. Because what I was hoping is that we would drop, we should have just bombed directly beneath uh, Percy. I was trying to get rid of the, the frog trap. I didn't know if it would like survive if there was nothing beneath it, but obviously it did. Okay, we'll whip you once, that's, that's enough. Thank you. I guess the one good thing, I shouldn't have done that. If it wasn't gonna trigger, I shouldn't have done it, but. The one good thing about the sun challenge potentially not being here is that I have more time to just explore, if that makes sense. It's not great, but. I mean, I definitely don't need the sun challenge to be here. Oh boy. I almost screwed that up really bad. Yeah, it's, it's not here. Okay, that's fine. So Excalibur, we're leaving that behind. We gotta just go. And I'm out. I have 52 HP. That's pretty good. Uh, there's the... That's not the sun challenge. That's a shop. And that's pretty bad. I want the pitcher's bit, like, a lot. We, we, we can't even mess around there. If I had a body to throw, I'm not gonna sacrifice myself or even try to whip the arrow. Like, that's just, that's a terrible... Maybe we could bomb it. Does that work? I actually don't know. <laughs> uh... It did. Thank goodness. I don't want the climbing gloves. I want the pitcher's mitt, and that's that's all I'm gonna take. All right. So we gotta hurry and find the sun challenge. Which I think it has to be on this floor. I don't think it'd be on seven three. But the way this level is set up, I mean, I'm like not exploring to the left at all. But I also don't think the sun challenge is, I think it's usually like at the beginning of the level, not always. That's why I said usually. Oh, there was still one more alive, I didn't see you there. There it is, it's, it's down there. All right. Okay, so we're gonna try to get out of this alive. Okay, I mean it's easy as, as easy as that. I think now all we really, we really have to worry about are like red skeletons and vampires. Like, is this one's coming over here? Like, obviously that's not great, but but compared to like you know dealing with other things. I would not be surprised if that gets patched out. Also, where is the arrow? <laughs> How did it get over here? Uh, uh, excuse me? Okay, at least it didn't get destroyed somehow. I'm just like very confused. An enemy had to have got, gotten bounced over there somehow. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry and get out of here. We're not, we have 40 seconds left. I think that the exit is right there though. Poison. Yeah, the exit is there. Beautiful. Ah, oh. all right. Just go. Okay. This is so so bad. Uh, it's not bad. It's just these enemies. Like, there's so many enemies here. I just don't want to deal with all of them. I mean, I, I do want to collect blood, but... And these guys, they do have a lot of blood. It's just, it's hard for me to, like, actually hit them without me getting hit by them. Alright, we're okay. We got... We, lo we gained the HP we lost there, so it's, it's all even. There are so many egg sacs. It's ridiculous. And because of that, I'm just going up. I'm not messing around. Okay, I see that crate. I'm not gonna get it. Even if it's three ropes, like, yeah, three ropes are nice, but that's been set off, but just to double check. That one has also been set off. Uh, 
There's a shop. Oh, it's got the pigeon mitt in it. Uh, we're good to go. I'm leaving the turkey. I'm leaving the turkey. We have the pitcher's mitt. Okay, arrow traps. Remember. Arrow traps. Okay, crates. We ignore crates at this point. Frick, dude. I hate that. There were two bone drops there. I, I was like... I was like, we can go now, we're safe. But no, we were not safe. Now, we still have to look out for arrow traps, obviously. But... Also other, other things. Arrow traps? Okay, I think we're actually safe now. And getting the pitcher's mid is actually very good. Uh, I shouldn't, I should probably not use two ropes here. I should probably just bring it from, like try to get it to come to the right, and then go to the left. Like two ropes is not necessary. We have to use a second rope anyway to like, get safely onto the spikes. But using a, a third, a third, it's just not, not that exciting, or that useful. Uh, actually, you're too far over there is the thing, because I cannot see. Okay, we got rid of one of the heads. That's all I really care about. And there is a crate here. The crate survived. I don't know how many times I hit the snake. That's what you're looking for. More bombs, I'll take it. Take them, rather. Alright. 32 ropes, 93 bombs. 56 HP. No onk, though. Um... But we're good to go. So at this point, I would rather... Obviously, I'd rather have the alien compass than have nothing. But... I don't know. We just gotta... Play the best game we can and... Hope for the best. Let me get rid of the monkeys. Okay, I should be looking for the orbs, by the way. <laughs> and the exit. This is kind of a larger level, it, it looks like, too, so this is not great. Yeah, this is actually like a huge level. Getting a huge level on 7-5 is the most annoying freaking thing. Getting a huge level anywhere, but like this is just... It's actually really bad. Like, there's no other way to say it. Like... Because we just, we don't know. We don't know where the, the orbs are. Okay, we just gotta go to the top of the level and hopefully we can get some, there's the exit. The exit is top left and there's an orb right next to it. That's really good. Okay, so we can do this in sectors, kind of, but it, it's, it's rough because it's so long that it... Also, I should actually, like, get rid of that hang spider because it could actually be a problem for me. Okay. We got a minute and a half. This is where you use bombs like crazy. Okay, I hate this. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, you're... You're actually a jerk. I'm so lucky I'm not dead. I'm gonna bomb this thing. Uh, we don't have time to dilly-dally here. I've gotta find the other two orbs. Like, and this level sucks. Like, it's one of the worst Cosmic Ocean levels you can get. Just because it's so dense. And if it's this large, like, how are we gonna find the orbs? We just gotta explore, but you don't have time. There's one of them. They're both down here. Okay, we're gonna be okay. Hopefully. We, like, actually got a bomb right there. There is a crate in there, too. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's not as good. Like, taking all this damage is really bad. Okay. Okay, that's funny. But I'm not gonna take it. 
Let's let's go. Let's finish this level quickly. Thank goodness. <sighs> no more large levels like that, please. That's my hope. This one doesn't look like it's small yet, but it's hard to tell, you know, we just barely started. Uh, I, I don't know. Gotta watch out for elevators. They're like the biggest threat here. Potentially, anyway. We, we're safe beneath this. Okay, there is... There is an orb. And that's the exit. Okay, so we, we gotta clear out the exit. Oh gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, there's one in there too. I did not see you, Mr. All Might. Okay, there's the another orb. So we got two kind of close to the exit. Um, I know I'm using a lot of bombs here, but I think that's the one we want to save for last. And the other one's like up to the right. Just gotta, you gotta actually find the third one. This is a nightmare. I would be happy to never come back to this area. Okay, we found the third one. I got lucky there. All right, let's go get the the second one. Well, it's the one that I saw earlier. Beautiful. Okay, and then watch out for these things. Okay. So far, I feel like the, the floors have been a little nasty. But you know, I mean, 99, well, 95 floors technically, that's rough. There's a UFO falling there too. We gotta like stay safe here. Okay, the exit is right there. Is that ever gonna stop falling? Oh, not until it hits me, huh? We gotta, we gotta take care of that. Like, I'm sorry, we, we, we gotta do something. Uh, all right, you know, we're just gonna avoid that the exits right there. We got two orbs right here. I Hate the UFOs Because uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna stop going when it when it hits me right like that's when it's gonna stop Oh wait, it's coming to the left a little bit now. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it always was That's what I'm looking for. No, I missed. Let's use a rope. Just so we don't have to come back around. Go, 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 go. Now we gotta get these last two orbs. And then we just go to the exit, which is just right there. Oh, it almost double jumped up into the thing. That's the one problem with like Vlad's cape is sometimes you just wanna glide immediately. You don't wanna do that second jump. For that jump, but it's okay. Okay, we got another jungle level, which I don't love. Just because, again, they're usually so dense. But we have two orbs right up off the bat. No, 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 get off me, get off me. We actually want to do that. I, it's a waste of a rope, potentially, but it's it's got to happen. Okay, I, I, I don't know. We got to find the last one. Okay, the exit is right there, which is beautiful. Why waste my time with this hang spider? I, I don't know. If I could hit it, it wouldn't be a waste. It would just be quick, but... Gotta find the orb. We know exit is bottom left. Okay, there's the orb. Um. We're okay. We're okay. <sighs> Temple is always a nightmare. If for no other reason than the fact that you have poison shooting into the sides. I mean, there are a million reasons, honestly. Cause that like, mummy cats are really bad, obviously. Poison's really bad, the croc mint, like it's all terrible here. I, I don't know, I think we have to come at this uh, 
mummy cat from the top. And there's also a sorceress right there too, huh? This whole situation is awful. Let's let's get the heck out of here. We're not gonna mess around. We gotta watch out for poison on the sides. Just watch. Oh, get, don't get too close to that mummy cat either. Okay. Okay. This is a large level too. Um, which I do not like. Is that my second orb? I wish I could remember, man. I wish I could. It may not matter. Like, I have no confidence. Right now, it's, it's non-existent. The last thing you want to do here is rush. But you also, like, have to kind of... Kind of go quickly. Just so you don't... We don't know where the exit is, so we gotta be careful here. But I really need to get rid of that thing. Okay. I think this is the last one. So this is where the alien compass would be very useful, obviously, but, but we don't have it. Crap. Okay, we know it's there where that rope is. Okay, there's the exit. We gotta get rid of that. Hopefully this is actually the last one. That's a very good bomb. Just gotta clear our path to the exit. Like, it's better to be able to just get in there and not have to, like, go up and around. So let's bomb that. Oh, wait, no, the last one's there. Okay. Um, scratch everything. So that at least we know where both of them are. We're actually out of time, though, so let's... Could have saved this one for last. I, I'm fine with the way we've done it though, because it's basically a clear path to the exit. Just jump on it. Okay. Doing okay so far. So the exit's right here, I can see it. We've got a uh, orb right there. I think we gotta get rid of this. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Now, can we make that jump? We might be able to, but just to be safe. Because it's gonna take a lot of time to, to attempt the jump. And we don't really have a lot of time. No, no, no. Okay, so we have one down. Okay, we know, and we know where all of them, the others are. I think we go like this. Okay, the last one. Actually, very small level, right? Is there a four? <laughs> There's not four, right? Like, I'm, I'm not losing my mind. I think this is the last one. Let's do a rope right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a small level. Uh, I would shoot the boomerang, but then I'm like, I have to, then I have to wait for it to come back. But that's actually okay. All right. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> Ooh, that's all right. Okay, two of them right there. Two of them right there. Okay. Wait for that to come back. Get rid of that one. That one, I feel safer. Maybe just bombing two. And the exit is right there too. Okay. See, so yeah, let, let's just bomb to that one, and I might leave it for last, because that's that's actually a very nice path to the exit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's leave that one for last. This also does not seem like a huge level, based on what I'm seeing, which means the uh, other orb is probably to the left of here. But we also want to like get rid of these frogs if possible. That'll get rid of those uh, sticky traps, which I don't know if that's actually a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, normally I'd say it's a good thing, but oh no. In this situation, I'm just not sure. Yeah, I, I would say it's down, down here. Yes, there it is. Okay, 
I don't remember where exactly the, the last one was. I know it was like close to the exit ish. Oh, it's right, it was to the left of the exit. Oh, okay, that was like, I was like, if I jump, if I even move a hair, I'm dead. Ooh. Just waiting to clear out this one, because yeah, I was gonna say, if the exit's close by, we, we may want to leave it. Now, if we break that, we want to go to the right. Because it looks like, well, with that Pangshi over there to the left, I, I really don't want to mess with it, so. Now, this this assassin is also going to be annoying. Let's see if we can kill it. Yeah. Oh no, more. Oh no, they're, they're actually coming over here, huh? Please land on this platform, like, right next to me. No, they landed up top. Alright, that's fine. Oh, they're both over here. Well, that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, you know what? I'm using a rope on this one. I don't, I don't trust it with that clam right there. Or I don't trust myself. And then let's just drop down. Oh, come on. That's alright, that's alright. Alright. Doing okay so far. There's one, two, three. They're all close by. My assumption is that this is a smaller level, if that's the case, but I also don't know where the exit is yet, so... I don't know, I think we, we may be better off leaving these two here for now. Although we could at least destroy one. Oh, the exit is right there, okay. So... Again, I, I tend to use a lot of ropes. Let's place a rope right here. So we know that this one's here. That's been set off. No, it hadn't. <laughs> uh, that was close. You really don't want to get hit by something that's going to like send you flying. But let, let's try to get to the exit and clear a path. It's kind of a long level, huh? Uh, I'm gonna use a bomb here. I was gonna like glide down onto the spikes and then get out of there, but I think we'd have to use a, a rope to get out of there. Even well, maybe not, but it's it's risky either way. All right. So I hate this. So the exit, you know, we saw that it's right here. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay. That could have been poisonous in there. It looked kind of poisonous. But we didn't get poison, so. Um, alright, so we know it's, it's like top of the level, the exit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Uh, yikes. Let's kill this thing really fast. We could farm it for blood. I, I, I just don't think it's completely necessary. That's one orb down. Yikes. Don't like that. Oh, okay. Yes, go into the sand. Get down lower, that's fine. Ah! All right. I actually like need to, to kill you really fast. Spooky. This is so cursed. Okay, there's a second one. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't like messing around with this croc man over here. We may need to go over there. But for now, I think we just... Yeah, the exit is bottom right. That's gonna like crush this side. Oh no! Hurry and wake up so you don't get fall damage, infinite fall damage. I died. All right. Well, I mean, that happens all the time to me anyway. Like, it just takes too long to wake up in my opinion. Cause I, like I, 
I would have been fine, but like taking like losing like however much like fifty plus HP, sixty plus HP, just from one fall, is like the worst. Cause really, like I jumped on that the sorcerer's head. I feel like it should not be able to shoot you when you're directly above it. But maybe I wasn't directly above. Maybe I was a little off to the side. I don't know. Either way, like that's that's frustrating. Um, Seven dash twelve. That's not my best. Not even really close to my best. But at least we got there. That's that's something. How long have I been going for? An hour and a half, fifteen or an hour and fifty one minutes. I'm probably just gonna do one more. And then call it a day. That one just hurts a lot. And I, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like I was doing okay. You know, losing the onk early on to like a very in a very stupid way, which I don't even remember how I. Did. Oh yeah, I was I jumped on the spikes, but you know the onk could have definitely if if I had it, it would have saved me there. And who knows how long I could have gone on a second life. Uh, oftentimes I find that I, I just die immediately when I lose the when I use up the onk. But okay, I hate skeletons down here. Um, but in that case, I survived quite a few floors afterwards. It was just because I died, you know, in like the tide pool or whatever. All right, we're, we're just gonna go. Like there's there's some more down at the bottom right. There's a uh, Percy over there and stuff, but I think it's better to just call it call it a day. Um, I'm gonna go jungle this time, I think. That one was like the best volcano run I've ever had, like in terms of resources. Like, it was insane. Uh, my biggest concern the entire run was like not having a ton of ropes, but we, we, had, we had enough like to, to make it work. And I see a run, man. Thank you, Dr. Dunderhead. How's it going? But yeah, like, I, like that was just incredible how many bombs I got. I feel like I got an early bomb box on that one, too, maybe? I, I don't remember. I know I got a bomb box on one of the runs today. Like, in a crate. Uh, but I kept getting, like, shopped with, like, two bomb boxes. Which obviously adds up. Okay, Dark Floor is not that exciting. Okay, there, there goes Percy. Percy's dead. Like, I don't... Nope, Percy's not dead. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna get down there in time to, to save him. But hmm. we did. Okay, here's the other turkey. That's good. Actually, don't want it to be over here. Over here is fine. Okay. Um, there may or may not be an altar on this floor. I have a feeling there won't be. So, it, ooh, like, there is a jetpack in there. So, you know, considering I just said I was going to go jungle, I feel like that's a, that's a great start. This is a terrible payout for Yank. It's money. Like, we can actually afford the jetpack now. I still can't afford the jetpack, jetpack and the bomb box. So, that's what I'm hoping for. But I'll probably just, I'll probably just rob this guy. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Um... <laughs> Cause that's a lot of money. If I spent, you know, thirty thousand there, which I don't even have, but if I did, then it'd be bad. Did they revert Yang to release payouts? I don't think so. Cause he still can get like three items, right? But it's it's often like actually I don't know. I, I think there's been like one time where I saw literally two items in there, and it was it was recently, but it was like a, an empty space where a third item would have been. So maybe there was like a skull that got broke somehow. I don't know. Maybe so maybe they did. I don't know. It's it's been really really bad though. That's bad. That's stupid. That's stupid. I, I You know what? That's all right. I don't know what I was doing there. Like I panicked. I should have just not taken the shotgun. I don't need it. But <clears throat> I just took too long to pick it up. Like I, I don't even know. It was weird. So it's not going to be the last run. The last run is going to be like a run where I actually make progress, but probably not gonna go for like four hours this time. If I had to guess. Uh, especially with my neighbors up there, they are like going to town on the, the floor, like stomping around. I think it's like a, a late, like a single mother with like some kids. 
and her kids love to stomp. I don't know how old they are or anything, but they're... They love it. Uh, and I can't blame them. Like, I, I like to stomp too. This is awful. Get me out of here. Alright, that's not a lot of gold going moving into 1-2, but we have an altar. It's very good. And we know the uh, U-Jedi is here. Let's see if we can spot it anywhere before we make our way down. Okay. Um, I'd love to get some bodies on the altar that aren't deceased. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, other than that one, like these others down here, they're kind of far away. I hate it. Oh, I've been taking so much damage to moles today that it's it's driving me insane. Okay, he's down, or the chest is down there. Percy's over there. At least Percy is accessible. Like I don't have to go to a secret shop or something like that to get him, but. Doesn't mean we'll be using ropes to get back up there if we, you know, decide to do that. That's actually a terrible idea. I should just set this down and deal with this this horned lizard, because it's it's just not smart. Okay, that that's better. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I probably won't be able to get that mole up there. And I have to come back up with a rope anyway, so I guess it's fine that I left the key. I don't know. That's a decent shop as well. Uh that, that mole has got to go, huh? It's gonna be the thing that kills me. Okay. We really don't wanna have to use two ropes here. Or three, I should say. Uh, skeleton key is fine. It's fine. Uh, I never get excited about it unless I'm going to Volcana. If I'm going to Volcana, then I'm like, yeah, dude, we, we want that, so it's, it makes it easier to get Van Horsing. But other than that, like, it's nice to have, it's just not, it's not that useful. Also, there is a shop up there for the jetpack. And spike shoes. We couldn't afford all that though, so I think we just ignore it. Cause I'm not gonna rob Ton. Pretty sure she just does not forgive ever, so. The spike shoes would be nice, admittedly. Uh, and we could afford those, but. A little bit less concerned about that. We could afford the bomb box and the bomb bag. I think I'm just gonna rob this guy though, cause... Cause why not, basically? Okay, purse is hanging out with the caveman. I only have one rope left. <clears throat> Far from ideal. Okay, these moles are like gonna. They're gonna cause problems for me, I have a feeling. I just. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one to pop out. Like, that's the, the problem. Okay, just go down there somewhere, like, that's not. Okay, you just went to the exact same spot you were in before, okay. We don't need to give Yang the turkeys, at the very least. That's that's a plus. And I might as well kill him for the money. Like, he doesn't have a lot, but, you know, like 2,500 is, is not bad. Uh, I don't know if I can get up there very easily. I know I can get up there, it's just... It might take me too long, okay. Alright, that may not have been worth it, because we only got like a thousand gold, I think, going up there, but... Um, might as well take this turkey with us. Although we can't really, because we have to use a bomb to get it out of here. I don't want the turkey that badly, but the HP and the money there, that's pretty good. I'd say that was worth it. Um, 
I'm gonna get hit by this mole while we're trying to tame this turkey, I have a feeling. Okay, no I did not. Okay, kill the turkey, I don't care. We don't have a lot of time to, to waste, so. Crap, I do want to get back up there for the, the curse pot. Let's hurry and do that. Go, 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 go. Hopefully this does not knock the turkeys away, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that crate. Thank goodness that dude's dead. <sighs> Alright, I like this is pretty bad. Uh, and I might die here. I'll probably die here, but... Like, unless I just kill the shopkeeper. If I kill the shopkeeper, we're gonna be fine, but... Alright, we're fine. That's the second time today that I've said, you know, we're gonna die here because there's a shopkeeper, like, at the exit, and we're trapped between the shopkeeper and the ghost. And then I've, I've made it through, but... I guess the key is just to, you know... Not believe in yourself. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. All right, I have... That was close. Uh, I did not see that spider. I don't know why I didn't see it. It was clearly there. But close to 40,000, now 40,000. So I don't know if the, uh, the curse pot is worth bringing down with me. And I have the skeleton key. We don't need to worry about that. Let's, let's move on. Yeah, but I'm, I'm excited to go back to the jungle. It's been it's been a little bit. I haven't gone there today yet, and I'm just hopeful that we actually get a black market that's not complete garbage. Okay, come this way. You know you want to keep coming. Let's kill this bad. Okay, that's gonna help out there. That too wide gap. Although it's not going to help out that much. He's going to stop. No, he kept going. All right. Oh yeah, I see, I see what you're talking about. Dr. Dunnerhead, he does that little tunnel like where he like keeps rolling and digs himself a little hole. Yeah, I don't know why he does that. I've seen him do it like before, but maybe they did patch it to make it so he does it more frequently. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to use my last rope here, so I think we'll just go down that way after we... Oh, gosh. Let's keep rolling. Uh, after we... Uh... No, we'll, we'll come down this way. This is tough. Okay, I've got to make a decision, though, either way. I think we come and collect this gold. Never mind. And then... I don't know. We'll... We'll see if there's any gold up here. I would love the HP. There's a crate. More bombs. Yeah, I'd love the HP. So hopefully we can just get Percy to, to obey. And then we'll go down that way and we'll just bomb our way over to the... Back to the left. And I actually might as well come down this way. Like, I know I'm running out of time, but... Yeah, might as well come down this way and grab the scarabs. Like, at this point, I have enough golds to, like, last me a long time. Oh, come on. And this bat is actually gonna get me killed, isn't it? Alright, we're good to go. Get me out of here. Uh, is there... There's nothing up there. Let's get out. Okay, again, I feel pretty decent about this. Twenty-five bombs. You know, like my biggest issue is ropes, but if we get to the black market, we'll you know be able to get plenty of those. It's nothing to worry about.
We're gonna get paste here, which is very good. That's what I'm looking for. All right, not a lot going on on this floor, it looks like. Like, the paste is nice, obviously, but like, no, uh, idol or anything like that. Come on, I gotta I gotta time this better. That's good. Drop off the shotgun and then we'll go back for Percy. Okay, that should be parsley. Um, and I might as well kill this thing because you know it's got a little bit of money inside of it, inside of its belly. It's just a matter of whether or not it jumps up here. Okay. Moon challenge is here, which is good. Um, it means we don't have an early black market. Doesn't mean I'll be giving up the shotgun, but that's, that's fine. That's a crate. It's not a bow, but it, it still could be very useful. If it's ropes, that'd be very good, but either way, I'll, I'll take it. That could be crate. City. It is. We gotta be careful because we don't have a. Too many ropes to use. I hate that. Alright, we're okay. Boomerang. That was definitely not worth the stress of getting over there. Uh, it's alright though. Really should not throw that in a tight space like that either, because it could have been disastrous. Now, I don't know why I'm working my way down here. Just hoping for something. There is a crate down there. I have so many bombs. Like, I don't mind using two to just to see if it's a it's a rope pile. But I gotta make sure I can get out of here, because that's we can make that jump. But if we like get rid of that block, then we cannot. So I don't know. Bring the bow, because the bow gives us a, the ability to like use the recoil to jump up higher, right? Like we should be able to like make that jump right there. Maybe not. We can always like use this as a platform too, though. Like I swear it gives you a recoil jump. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, either way, we, we, can, we can get out. Just do that. Let me jump up there, yeah, okay. Uh, that's... That's fine. If I had to use my last rope to get out of here too, it's not a big deal, maybe we'll get some here. Yeah, that, that was well worth it. Um, yeah, I don't mind leaving the, the arrow behind, we don't need it. Just to save a rope, I guess, I don't know. I, pr I probably should be throwing that, just in case there's a bear trap around. But that's very nice getting a parsley without having to use any resources. Uh, this is also very nice, potentially. And I heard Percy over there. Now I'm gonna have to use a rope to get up here without taking damage. 
I have 6 HP, but I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't feel comfortable jumping into that. That's the first time seeing someone use a, a rope as a platform since the trailer. Do you mean, do you mean the arrow? I usually don't. Like, I usually don't use it, but I figured I might as well. Okay, and then I might as well sacrifice this guy. He's, you know, not worth a lot, but he's worth something. We got a minute left. No, you're fine. I, I knew what you meant. I was just double checking. Uh, and I'm gonna use a rope here, obviously, to get Percy up. We just gotta make sure we don't take Percy to the exit. I don't know why whip him first. Just jump. That's Kapala already. Okay, I was gonna try to sacrifice the the man trap. At this point, not gonna do that at all. Um, we're gonna go. I really wish I had spike shoes. We do have the black market here, so I don't have as much, again, I should not be throwing that. I don't have as much money as I'd like to have, but if there's an idol here, that would be great, because I haven't seen an idol on the jungle yet today. Well, I've only been to the jungle, like, you know, for like four minutes or five minutes, something like that, but... This is a little cursed. Like, get, get off me. I, I, I know. I know you just want to hang out. Alright. We didn't even need to go that way. I only have two ropes left. Hopefully the entrance is just down here and I don't have to come back up, because that would just be kind of rough. There's nothing here, huh? All right. Oh, I almost jumped right into that. Oh no, I did not see you up there, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Tiki Man. It's it's somewhere in this area. I, I don't know. I don't see it exactly. I thought I was like really close to it, but then I'm afraid to jump up there now. Okay. I really want to kill this guy. Get him out of here at least, like. Mostly because I just want that gold. Let's just go. It's, it's fine. Yeah, no, no idol. It's kind of a little strange. Um, we could definitely bomb that for two rubies if we need to. But at this point, let's let's explore the rest of the black market and see if there's actually anything we want to pay for. Gosh dang it. Just, Uh, it's not worth it to wait for that scarab. It's like just a little over a thousand at this point. Might as well get these guys while they're easy to get to. Yeah, this is not looking like a great black market. Oh, well, never mind. I take that back <laughs> immediately. Uh, three bomb boxes there. That's that's big stuff. So would I rather have three bomb boxes or the cape? I don't know. Because so I don't know if I can afford all of this. I can definitely afford the bomb boxes and the cape, but then I wouldn't be able to afford ropes. A spike shoes would also be nice. Like, pitcher's mitt would be nice. Like, all of it would be nice. I might... I might ghost. I don't think I will. That's, that's pretty spooky. I think I want the cape. Because it it'll definitely help out in the Olmec fight. Were there spring shoes? Because I would actually like that. Those two. I don't think there were. Yeah, 
There's like ropes up there. We can definitely afford ropes still. Um, but I think the, the pitcher's mitt and the spike shoes, especially the pitcher's mitt, like the spike shoes are very nice to have and I want them early, but knowing that we can get them later on for, for like, for free basically, like I think we just, well, you know, let, let's buy some ropes really fast. And then let's uh, try to get some more money. Maybe the scarab's now gonna be accessible. Thank you. Let's get that ruby as well. They are worth like 2,000 a pop now. That helps out a lot already. We only have 20 seconds left, so I, I gotta go. Did not realize. Uh, the bomb, ba bomb bag is not what we need. We need the spike shoes and we need the pitcher's mitt, but we can't afford it, so. I'm just gonna come out here really fast and see if there's any money. It's not quite enough. I think we just go. I should go back and buy like some more ropes or something, but uh, there's a lot of gold down here too. That's all right. I should have been quicker there. At least I'm still alive. We got the spike shoes. I, again, I maybe should have gotten the pitcher's mitt over them, but I just feel like they're, they're so useful. Like, I, we don't need the pitcher's mitt. And of course, there's our first uh, idol. Now that we don't need it anymore. Get rid of that guy. We, we can't. We cannot afford to be messing around with a monkey right next to a bunch of spikes. All right. All right. Um. Okay. So, did I get parsnip on that last one? I'm sure I did. Sure I did. But we're definitely gonna get Parmesan here. This is this is very bad. This is like a, a bomb situation. I don't know, like I'm afraid that I'll jump on that guy's head and then get bounced into the uh, spear trap. This guy is a little worrying, but not nearly as bad as the other one. So we can just do that. No bear trap down there. I'm still taking the idol with me just so I can gamble more, I guess. Okay, we gotta go back for the bow. That's pretty bad over there too. And there's nothing in there, just just money. It may be worth it to explore up here. We got, you know, like a minute and a half left, so. Yes, that's very much worth it. Uh, the spring shoes. I'm not gonna even try to get the money for the royal jelly. Like that's, just, it's not necessary. Like it's, it's nice, but it's so expensive. So expensive. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're not messing around over there. Yeah, but those spring shoes. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, all right, we're good to go. It does kind of suck being here without Vlad's cape, though. Um, 69 bombs, the perfect amount of bombs. It, it just sucks because, like, I don't know. <laughs> Normally, I'm like, I can just jump up here without any problem. Like, I don't need to. I, I still can make it up top. Well, I just have to time it better, I guess. Just let, there's less room for error. I'm really bad at making this jump, especially like on a moving, a moving head. Okay, let's get him to go a little bit over here and then back. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. More ropes, uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. For a second there, even though I just was barely talking about how I don't have it. Uh, all right.
Well, thank you, Waddler. You're a very nice person. Come on, just like help me out here. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter where we do this. Let's just just play it safe. Don't do the don't do anything special. Just play it safe. Coco's last last run of the day and last run, maybe ever. Um, I'm gonna switch, go to someone else tomorrow, and then keep moving on until we knock them all out. But let's see. Oh no, that was close, closer than I'd like for it to be, but. bombs here on the third phase. I'm kind of a coward when it comes to this phase, and especially with the skeleton right here. What's, what's going on, man? All right. I'm gonna try not to. Oh, okay, that was too close. Um, I think I'm gonna use bombs at this point. I'm spooked. Get, get me out of here. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I thought that was maybe a waste of a rope, but... Especially, especially since I didn't actually use it. But yeah, I'm using bombs. If this is gonna be my last run, I don't want it to go out this way. I also don't want to throw a rock at this thing. I could get this UFO to completely destroy the, the level as well. I, I saw Dan Giesling do that one time. It, it took a long time, but he did it. I don't think that's completely necessary. I think we just do that and call it a day. All right. Um. Ideally, I'd like to jump on your head. Okay. Have I been randomizing characters? No, I'm basically just going down the list. Like, I, I started like with a random character, and then, I don't know, I just... I'm basically just going down to like the next one I see that I haven't played as. All right, let's get, we might as well get the money. Fifteen hundred a pop. It's pretty decent. It's still amazing to me that they were worth five thousand in HD. And like the, sh like when I first picked one, like collected one in in Splunky Two, I was like, I was I was so excited. I was like, this is gonna be like. You know, money's hard to come by now. Like, it used to be so easy because you could just ghost very easily, like, every level. Uh, and now it's, like, really hard to ghost. So I was finding, like, oh, a scarab. This is going to help us out a lot. A thousand gold. <laughs> so disappointing. But... It, it makes sense, I guess. I don't know. All right, the bow is sitting in there without the arrow, right? Okay. I'm not going to use a rope to get... Percy. Yeah. One thing I will say is like not having the the jetpack or Lad's cape. It's gonna make the the lava skip a little bit trickier, I feel like. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, spectacles, I actually don't have those. That's always nice. Give me that. Uh, I will take the climbing gloves this time. I just, I don't want to... Like, the climbing gloves will help with the skip, for one. But I also don't want to, I want to be invited to her palace. 
pleasure. Like, I don't want to miss out on the opportunity just because I hate this item. Plus, like, I just gotta get better. I gotta practice more with, with them. And I think if you, if, like, if you don't forget that you have them, usually it's not a problem. It's always when I forget that I have them and then I'm, like, trying to get away quickly and, yeah. Just gotta be very aware. Also, we're not winning very often. <laughs> Despite, you know, rolling sixes and ones exclusively, I keep rolling the same. Same number. Okay, that's bad. Okay, let's not do that again. Are you serious? <laughs> this is this is whack. There we go. Take them. Telepack would be fun too. Set that down right there. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate that we don't get anything like really too valuable here. Like the the, the climbing gloves. Again, they they'll help out with the skip just because it allows me to actually climb the wall to get up top instead of having to use so many ropes. But, man, this is actually taking a long time. Okay, well, what a way to, to win. Sure, just give me that. This is beautiful, though. I'm leaving the camera behind. Like, at this point, I just, I just want to go. As good as it is against these enemies. Oh my gosh. Alright, there are a lot of crates here, but they're, you know, hermit crabs, so. Percy's down there. I'm actually gonna bomb my way down to Percy. I really want the other royal jelly. I don't know about the crates. As much as I like them, I, I'm freaked out. That one, you know, we could just bomb. Well, that's a bad bomb. But I was gonna say, we could just bomb to that one. More bombs, that's fine. You know what, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna leave that other crate behind. Get, get me out of here. I feel decent about that, like, all things considered. Okay, let's hurry and do this. Still no pitcher's mitt. Um, okay, gotta remember I have these and how to use them. Oh, did not mean to do that. I still never see anyone use the crossbow. Like, I know it, it, you can use it to help you out there, but I, I, I've never seen anyone do it. This is a situation where I use a bomb. Because if I had the, if, with the climbing gloves, getting out of that nastiness, once I uh, open up the, the gate, it's, it's tricky. <laughs> it's too tricky for me. Okay, I'm not even gonna go over there. Last time I pay out with the from the present was pretty nice too. So I think I think I'm happy to clone that again. I hate this. So many freaking flying fish. I take way too much damage against these enemies, but when I'm in the water, like everything is just I mean it's just normal, that's how it is. Like it's it's meant to be wonky. Go ahead and pick something up there. There you go. And I should check for crates before I clone this, like, as always, just to see if there's a bomb box, potentially. Because if there is, I would much rather clone a bomb box than clone... Well, I don't even know. A bomb box is not worth... Like, four bomb boxes. That's that's too many... Honestly, that's too many bombs. That would put us over at 99, so... I think we just clone it. If it was a rope pile, I actually would probably clone that too. 
Uh, we get a rope pile from that. That's pretty much it, though. We can take the freeze ray. And then I immediately want to ice this guy. I don't know, like... I know if I wanted to take the freeze ray further than this, I, I'd, need, I'd need him. But... I'm a little worried. Okay, let's hurry and get down here and just take care of business. we might have the opportunity to just use one bomb. It's looking close. I don't know, this might be too high. I think it's too high. Yeah, that did not work. Um, that's all right. We still have a secret shop, which has a pitcher's mitt inside. I already have the compass and the spike shoes, but I appreciate that. It is unfortunate that that was too high. It's probably pretty close. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, what are we looking for? Three. That's right there. That works perfectly. Let's do that. No gold. Alright. Let's start on this side. Okay. And I am gonna burn a rope here just to be safe. Oh, I know. left. If I can just land on your head, that would be the best. More bombs. Very nice. Uh, we're going up this way. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna worry about Percy. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Nice skip. Thank you, thank you. Headscape, like not even for the mobility, just because of how much blood you get, it's crazy. Didn't really get any of that hermit crab's blood because it all fell. But it's alright. I still have plenty of HP and I still have the Onk. Last time I was in this position, I did not have the Onk, so that in and of itself is very good. Where is the actual... It's over there. I don't know that I want to go down there. So I will still check out the top of the area, or of the the cave system for... Or maybe I won't. We'll, we'll see. I don't want to use a rope to get in there. I may have to. I shouldn't have to if I wait long enough for King Yu to come over to the left. Okay, and drop down, that's that's beautiful. Okay. It's alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna check check for ropes. Or uh crates specifically ropes though. Cracked gold bats. Beautiful. That's pretty cool. Um, if there's a shop on this floor, we could get really lucky. But moreover, I could get, you know, some... 
some royal jelly. Let's do that. It's a waste of a rope, potentially, but now we don't have to worry about that thing, like, blowing up the altar. Also, like, the good thing about climbing gloves is that now we have an easy way to get up back up top here. Oh, no, that's... Okay, that was close. Okay, that's Waddler. Let's hurry and get the... The Clover. Oh, you're alive? That's alright. I may want to bring the hired hand up there with me, if I can, but that's gonna be... Well, it may not be, but it, it probably probably will be a little tricky. Okay. Three. I'm just gonna bomb this guy. I love when he drops a freeze ray. It's always very nice. Okay. Um, we'll focus on getting Percy first, and then if we have more time, I'll, I'll go back for the hired hand. I just think I've got to prioritize in this situation. Okay, I'm not even seeing Percy yet. Here, Percy. I heard a uh, purr. There he is. All right. Oh, there is a shop. Okay, get the, get a, get all these bodies out of here. Just want to hit this. Okay, that didn't do what I thought it would do, but. Okay, no present. Uh, I I was kind of like really hoping, but that's okay. A, a bomb box is is great. Now we want to get this out of here. Right there is fine. Okay, that, then that's. It would have been like too good if there was a present in there. Um, I still would have screwed it up because I always do when I get the opportunity to get the eggplant and go to the cosmic ocean. I still don't think I've quite made it there yet. I've come close, but yeah, with with the eggplant. Uh, crown, it's it's just been close, but no cigar. Uh, and yeah, let's try to get the hired hands. Because if we can get him up here, he's gonna like fall immediately. No, he's not. Yes, he almost did. Uh, I don't know if this will give us a jelly, because I don't know exactly the amount of favor I have right now, but we're pretty close. All right. Did indeed give me the jelly. So now I guess we just want the freeze ray and to get out of here. That's really it. I guess I might as well collect this gold as well. That could have been bad. I mean, it would have been terrible. If we lost the freeze ray, it's not the end of the world. You saw Lethal Frag gather up all of the Yetis and drop them onto the same spike. Then he floated down and collected like five blood <laughs> worth of health. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You know what? I'm using a bomb here. I don't want to mess with that. I might actually be able to go down over here, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, let's... That's... So, what is the furthest lethal frag has gotten? You said, like... Did you say it's like 790 or something like that? Or is he beaten? Cosmic Ocean. Or am I thinking of someone else completely? I don't know. I thought you said something about Lethal Frag getting to like 790. 787, you think? It might have changed. Oh, okay. 
That's pretty dang good. Like, right now, my goal is just to get back to, like, 7-3-something, you know, whatever. Oh, don't want to be hanging on the... Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. This is why you don't want to be holding anything while you're messing around with those, uh... The force builds. Come on, this is... It's not bad. It's not bad. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> and then we're gonna say goodbye to that. It was gold and it was something else. I don't remember anything else. Cracked gold bat. I see cracked gold vortex. There's cracked gold bat. I love it when it's so close. Perfect. I was hoping for something like that. I absolutely hate this. This is actually, and this is not the way I want to go, necessarily, but it's the way I've chosen to go. So that's where we're going. All right, we're out. to be alive. I think I'm invited. <laughs> There's a crate here. That's very good, actually. Oh, that was so lucky. I, I don't even... I just got impatient and I was like, let's ride the elevator. That wasn't even impatience. It was just a... Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the spark trap. Um, at this point, I'm not going to go back there. Like, I'm done with, with that whole that whole thing. Even if I find Percy, like, it's... I'm lucky I got, I got out of there alive, so... Oh no, that was maybe a little bit too close. You're still okay, right? <laughs> That's beautiful. A lot of bombs there. Uh... Man. Alright. Uh, this, on the other hand, is not so... not so great. I kind of just want to get through that. Okay, come on. I'm gonna leave you right there, and that better be good enough. I I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. I have enough bombs where I'm thinking, yeah, it's it's not worth it. <laughs> It's not worth it. I'm afraid they'll get bounced into the force field and then it'll bounce and hit Chilin and then a chain reaction will go off that just ruins my chances. So, with 69 bombs and the ability to get 24 more uh, relatively soon, like, I think this is fine. Because I really don't use them that much in the Cosmic Ocean. I use ropes way more. So I really could have left that floor with like a lot more than I have. I could have left it with, you know, at least six more HP. Um, 24 more bombs. I don't know, like it, it could have been great, but I still feel pretty good about where I'm at. Still have the Ankh, which is different than last time. You know, I think my biggest concern is that I, I don't have the, uh, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> the Vladscape, Vladscape, I can't but maybe this cape will, will serve me just fine. Okay. Okay. 
Still not seeing the sun challenge. The eggplant mother is right there, so we can get some health on our way up. Okay, just get out of there. I don't know what happened there. That's that's fine. Um, it was a little spooky. What time are we at, by the way? Perfect. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll see the sun challenge on the next floor. Although I still haven't seen Wadler either. Not that that matters. Like, we, well, it does. We need to find him, but... There is an altar here. Okay, there's Waddler. And yeah, there's no way this sun challenge is on this floor. So we don't need Excalibur in that case. But it's fine, it's fine. So I don't know, like, that's 6 HP that's just sitting there. If we sacrifice Percy. That being said... We might as well. Like, we have plenty of time. I do see the arrow trap down there as well, though, so let's be careful of that. It doesn't really matter which way we go. Let's... Maybe this will just set off the arrow trap? No. But that, that tadpole will. Perfect. I'm gonna whip you twice. Get as much HP out of you as possible. <laughs> Although I probably shouldn't, because now I'm gonna like have to whip up here as well. That slowed me down so much. Oh gosh. Well. Perfect. Still got 40 seconds. Nothing to worry about. 52 HP. That's where I like to be. In the low 50s. There are no tadpoles up here. There do not appear to be. What do we got going on up there? Okay, there's the sun challenge. We can get more royal jelly if we get lucky and find Percy soon. But let's focus on surviving here. That's a bad bomb. It's kind of not a great bomb, at least. That's an even worse one, in case you were curious about that. I cannot hit the hit my target. We got it, we got it, finally. Just hang out up here. <laughs> we lost 3 HP doing that. Uh, I might be fine just hanging out at the bottom, whipping things, because, you know, I have with, with the Kapala, like... Also, get, get this light out of here. Anyway, we're good now. Versus there, I, I'm not gonna worry about the, the 6 HP on the altar. Although it is pretty close. Alright. The exit is literally right here, so I mean I know I just said I wasn't going to, but let's let's do it. That might actually kill Percy. Nope, that was I was worried it would, but it was a perfect placement. looking out for... Oh, we're not on 7 floor yet. We're on 7-3. Well, I'm looking out for arrow traps still. So there's one right there. Let me just go this way. Okay, we did not drop the bow. Oh, come on. 
There's another altar there. Which is maybe a little insane. Okay, we did drop the bow there, but... This is like one of the situations where I am gonna get Percy on the altar without even questioning it. Um... Just gotta be careful. Uh, and I might want to actually get rid of this frog. I did not know he could spawn tadpoles. That's pretty cool, though. Come on. Well, I'm gonna lose as much HP as I'm gaining, so... Let's get this guy out of here. Alright. We need the bow, like, really badly, so... We'll go back for that. And I will check out inside the, uh, frog's belly. Quickly, there could be a crate in here or something. That's that's honestly good enough for me. What's over there? Who knows? Is there a crate over here? There is. Okay. Forty-five ropes. I will take that and I'll be on my way. Let's take a sip of water really fast. The biggest concern here would be arrow traps for sure. Not the only concern uh, by any stretch, but just just go. This is honestly why I get so much, like, I, why I like to have so much HP by this point. Just because I, I feel like it's so risky to fight enemies, like, to slow down and fight them. I'd rather just, as long as I'm in a safe place where I'm not going to get bounced onto spikes or something like that, I'd rather just tank the damage and, and get out of there. Oh no, we missed, we missed. Just waited out, we got plenty of time, like... I don't know what, how I missed picking up the bow, but I did, so... Arrow traps again are a real threat. Uh, there's always this, not always, but there are oftentimes sneaky little ones at the top. There you go. I'm getting rid of that thing. Even if I don't plan on coming back here, like, I just gotta go. Let's we'll use this one arrow, this is fine. Or this one rope, rather. And then a second one, right there. Let's get clear on this side so we have plenty of space to move. I don't know if it's gonna take... Yeah, okay. Worked out nicely. And I probably, again, I probably wouldn't even have to worry about that arrow trap, I just... just wanted to play it safe. Let's go. Hmm. This is a rough start. I, I have to say, like, this is actually very rough. Like, it's it's so cursed. I see the poison from the top too, by the way. Like, I saw poison flying from something. Okay, well there is that poison. We we don't want to get hit by that. Um First cat, get out of here. Okay. We really need you to go away. All three of them are here. And the exit's here. But that exit is very bad, too. Um, we actually need to, like, bomb it out. Just so the, the croc man gets out of there, but also so we can get rid of the... I hate it so much. Oh, we have another croc man. Congratulations. You win the, the prize. This is awful. And we have a, a mummy cat that's also free. Okay, I think... I don't think it's safe, necessarily, but I think it's... It's as safe as it's gonna be. Oh, please. For the love of God, get out of here. Croc man. Alright. Let's get rid of that one first, I think. I don't know. This is... I gotta get rid of this guy. Like, it's, he's gotta get out of there. 
No, no, no. Just don't, don't chomp me to death. Whatever you do, like, I, I've lost, like, a lot of HP on you already. I, I really do not want to lose more. Just get me out of this nightmare. Hondon got wrecked. He did. Ah, oh, That was hell. Like, I don't want to go back to the temple ever again. Um, now, this is interesting, because there is a... There's an orb right next to... Well, close to the exit, but it's... The way it's placed, I'm like, I do not want to get that one last. I'd rather get one that's further away. Just not that's like... I don't know, that's just a nightmare. Although maybe I should clear out the exit still, like... Can I get this frog to jump down here, please? Thank you. And then let's clear over to that frog and clear out everything that's going on. Yes, get, get squished. Alright, top right. That's where the uh, actual exit is. Let's... Let's avoid arrow traps at all costs. No, I don't care. We lost like 10 HP on the temple level. It's crazy. Okay, there's one. I gotta remember, that one could have always been destroyed by an arrow trap too. Yeah, it was. Okay, we gotta go down this way, top right. There you go. Luckily, there were no arrow traps on the side there that could have caused me problems. Oh, come on. I was like, I'm not on, I'm not on top of the level, so I'm gonna be fine to like explore here. Clearly, I was not fine. I, my first, I think Neo Babylon, the lesson learned there is always look up first. Never look down. Like, there's no point to look down. Like, you're fine. Below you, beneath you is fine. It's the uh, upper part of the freaking level. Oh my gosh. Well, that's why you get the onk. But that's, it's rough to lose it that early. Um, Neo Babylon is just a nightmare. I hate this. Well, the exit is here. That's good, I guess. I don't have a lot of HP, so I really gotta be careful. Oh! The tail doesn't hurt us, right? Like, I don't know that I have tested that out before. I feel like I have. But... Maybe now is not the time to test it, but now I know. Okay, there's a cosmic orb. I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know. I, I hate everything here. Let's get that. Yes, that's perfect. I'm gonna save that one for last. I'm actually gonna use a rope there to give myself, uh... Nope. Uh, the ability to get out of that a little bit easier. I may not end up saving that one for last if, this, if these UFOs destroy it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they destroyed it. No, they didn't. Oh, but they did create a situation for me. But I don't like to... Alright. You know what? We're gonna drop down to the top. There's one right there. The other one's right there. Okay. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Oh no! Don't get crushed again, kind sir. Uh, let's go through here. All right. Another Neo Babylon, of course. Now, the exit is right there. I can see it. I really need to farm these things for blood, or like any enemies, really. I'm gonna use a bomb to get a crate. Uh, I already have those. So bottom left is the uh, actual exit. But what I would like to do is destroy that. Okay, we gotta watch out for uh, moving platforms. Just hang out here. We're safe in here. Oh, that's a moving platform. Okay. We're safe here. Safe under the tree. There they are. Did I destroy an orb already? I don't remember. I don't know if this level. No, I did not. Okay, so they're both here. Bottom left is where we want to go. Oh, 
I hate that. Oh, top left, I mean. And we didn't even use the the one that I had open. Okay. Got an orb right away. I probably should farm this guy for health, to be honest. I said that last time I was in the temple and I saw I had saw one of those things, but Okay, that, that dude's spinning venom off the side. It is pretty bad. So I think I'm gonna hang out on the bottom. Absolutely hate this. But more blood is nice. The exit is there. I don't know if crushed blocks can go through quicksand, but I don't really want to find out. I, I don't want to be here, though, because, yeah, the poison, I can see it coming from the side there. It's got to be slow, maybe, and... Okay, that's bad. There are two there, two orbs. Again, I don't remember if I destroyed one here, but... It's right there. Okay. Again, a pretty nasty exit. I feel like Temple always has a nasty exit. Oh! Oh, come on. Give me your blood at least. Mostly because it, just the setup, it always has this thing you have to like, drop in to get to the exit itself. Okay, I see stuff flying off the sides there. Alright, let's, let's go down. Let's work our way down. The poison! Actually, I don't know what hit me there. It wasn't poison, because I'm not poisoned. I have no idea. Oh, there's the poison. Uh, I'm running out of time. We've got to get these these orbs. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, my orb. <laughs> Where did the orb go? Okay, it got crushed. That was it. That was it. Don't get poisoned on the way out, please. Please. That was the coolest, like, interaction with an orb I've seen. That was insane. It was lucky that we, like, still were able to get out of there. Okay, that's not good. I really need more blood. Like, we're not getting nearly enough health back. That was crazy. I'm, I'm glad it, like, it worked out, but I was a little scared for a sec there. I was like, it's gonna get over there and we're not gonna be able to find it. But I, I wasn't thinking this is gonna get crushed eventually. I was like, eventually it's gonna like go too low and the crush block is it's gonna be like in the middle of the, the the map, like in between the actual like crust. Okay. We should like actually farm blood here because there's there are uh, mosquitoes and man traps actually. Like they have quite a bit of blood. Now that's not smart, but we'll do it. Give me the mosquito blood. No, don't hit me, mosquito. That's really bad. I don't know how I managed to miss that mosquito every single time. Okay, we're back to 4 HP. Uh, I actually want to be on this side. I feel like it's going to be easier to collect your blood. There we go. I don't know how many uh, orbs I've gotten either. That's a concern here. Um. Huh. Jungle levels are very dense, and I, I hate it. Cause I, I'm completely lost. I have no idea how many orbs I've destroyed. I haven't been keeping track. I think I have one left, but. I'm not certain. The exit's right there, though. We know that. We know exit is, like, top left-ish. But I also feel like I should place a rope here just to be safe. Maybe I should place a rope here. And then bomb my way down. And then I actually want to get rid of that. I just want to see. And that. Like, this is, this is too much. I would like to hear that too, but anyway, we have 30 seconds. This is nuts. 
It's too big. Like, this level is too big. Oh, come on. Frick. We're gonna actually, like, have to deal with... There's an orb. I don't know how I missed that one. Maybe that's the one I, I just left that one because it's close. No, no, no. Just use a rope. Yeah, I think I left that one because it was close and I just forgot about it. That's all right. Oh. Neo Babylon. Okay, I just waited out a sec. Some of these things are gonna get destroyed. That's the exit. Okay, there's an orb. That's a good orb to save for last. It's because it's to the left of the exit. Okay, let's clear that out. See, so yeah, we hit that one last, then just make our way down there. That being said, gotta find the other two orbs still. Is that? That's a UFO. That thing's, or an alien. I think that thing's gonna be falling forever, because it looks like it's falling straight down. Well, it should be, because it's using the parachute, right? Like, it's... So, yeah, that's... At least it's slowing, falling slowly. I don't know that I wanted to do that. No! Why would I do that? Like, in my head, I was thinking, well, that lava's not gonna be a problem, because, you know, we're not gonna jump right into it, but apparently I did. All right, that's gonna do it for today. I could go for another hour, but I... I said that was gonna be my last run. It was a decent run, 7-11. I got 7-12 earlier, so that's two Cosmic Ocean runs today, despite me playing pretty poorly. <laughs> uh, so, at least in the beginning. I think I, I pulled it back there towards the end, except for that, those deaths. They were pretty bad. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully progress will actually be made in the future. Like, getting to, even getting to like 7-29 the other day, like, felt really good, because, you know, I, I feel like the 7, 732 was, like, an anomaly for me. I feel like that's not common. I mean, it's not. I haven't gotten back that far yet, but I've gotten to 7-27, I think, and 7-29. So I'm getting closer. But this this is more like where I usually die, like, in Cosmic Ocean is, like, 7, around 710, 715-ish. So it feels good regardless. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. I am Dumpster Shark. I will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, provided I actually get some sleep tonight. And then I'll be back to, to play some Demon Souls, and then I'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do some more Splunky 2. And hopefully not do so poorly on the daily, because that's usually what I start with. But um, if not, that's okay, too. Also, yeah. Oh, yeah, Dr. Dunderhead. So, like, I'm just looking at my messages in, in on uh, Stream Manager on Twitch. And, yeah, like, I think, actually, like, if I right-click it, it says, like, purge or, or delete. If I click on the username. But it doesn't work, like, for all of them. Like, for some reason, it's weird. Like, it's, I think you have to, like, click on it first or something. I don't know. Anyway. But that's going to do it. I will be back tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.